Mm-hmm. Hello, friends. It's Tuesday. I'm not Andrew Cuomo. Thank God. Because that guy keeps fucking up. Fucking up hard. <laughs> well, that's very topical for the local. Sorry, everyone. We just dropped, we dropped from 10 to 5. Everyone's ah, fuck these guys. Shit. Um, I'm going to just throw a bunch of explicitives out there and scare the rest of everybody off. Shit. How's everyone doing? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh... Why so curious? Uh, my name is Brian. I'm I'm Bro Builder. We're here on Tuesday building shit and hanging out. I'm not alone, thank God, because I would scare you all away quite quickly. You're not alone. Abs is here with you. Working on a barb. I thought you said working in a barn. I was like, <laughs> well, then. Nice, nice. Beauty. <laughs> uh, hey guys, there's a bunch of people out in the chat. Manny's been around since like yeah. before six o'clock. <laughs> he was chiming in in the chat. But we also have uh, Julius Demsky, Steve Hurts Apprentice is out there, Dave B, uh, Guy Dagogi, and I just saw Ngawa. Oh, Ty Furious, what's up? How you guys doing? It's a fine evening. Welcome, guys. Well, Chris, Julio, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay too. God damn. <laughs> We're like, hey Paul, what's up? Oh Look, shit, Paul. we should get Paul in here. Yeah. Let's get Paul in here. Nothing, I didn't nothing. send Paul a link. I'm a bad man. Da -da -da -da. Done. Oh shit. That's not All right. Haha. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. So what are you guys working on this evening? Everyone's diligent. Look at this. You both like, you got the side cam, nose to the uh. grindstone. Everybody's on the hustle. Yeah, yeah. Pabs, you look the most frantic. Let's see what you're doing. I can't find my butts. Um, hold on. Let me, I can switch over. I can't find his butt. He I said his butt. My butt. I, I think you're talking about your, uh, your, your. Q-tips, right? Your cotton swabs, right? Yeah. Yeah, Fine. there you go. There you go. Bitch. Um, hi, guys. Welcome hey. to um, uh, Drama with Pabs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> today, I'm panicking because I can't find my buds. My uh, buds. I found them. I found them, son of a bitch. These are really Oh, I'm trapping a whole bunch of them. These are actually really good. Um, Kill me, Beauty360. These thing, these things, like you get them from from CVS or Walgreens, they're really mm -hmm. nice. Like they're pointed applicators. You also get a flat oh, tip. Oh, yeah. Really cool stuff. Really good stuff. Um, so yeah, oh. I'm currently uh, I'm currently working on this Barbatos. As you oh, you guys can't see. I'm also doing some. Uh, I did some masking earlier. A whole bunch of masking earlier. Um, I also been doing a bunch of. Uh, it's not Wednesday, but I've been doing a whole bunch of hand painting. Yeah. Literal. Oh shit! So have I. Literal hand painting because these are hey, man, stupid. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's a thumb. If you guys don't believe me, look, look at this thumb. It's all black and gray. Um, nice. and then uh, yeah, right now I'm I'm just working on uh, uh where are, where are my buds? I found them. Um, working on some decals for uh the the forearm. So these are the oops. oh no, these are the six form uh forearm armor things. Uh, so that's that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Um, but I'm fucking up nice. the details right now because I'm trying to show you guys. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I have more stuff to talk about later. Let's go. Let, let's go to the next guy. He's here. Ba -da 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 -da. Julio. What's up, guys? Welcome to Coral Cat Rebel Dojo. I'm Julio, also known as Clipping Nubs, also Chuch Fang Fist. Fang <laughs> Fist. If you know what that's from, you're OG. It almost sounds like uh, foot fist style, but no, close, but yeah. no cigar. It's right. a Yamcha reference. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I, I literally I, thought you said foot fang fist. No, chooch fang fist. Chooch fang fist. Yeah. I was like, yeah, he's Yamcha, a huh? I don't yeah. know, man. Yamcha? If anything, I was going to be like maybe Tien. You no. know? Yamcha's. Hey, look at that guy. What's up, guys? Oh, so, shit. I'm finishing up this dude here. Because mm -hmm. I didn't touch him since the last time we streamed on Saturday. That's a and, Super Tekka Man. Yeah, Super Tekka Man Blade. It's actually really fun. Yeah. It's like an RE100 plus. Yeah, a little bit better. A little bit better than the RE. So, nice. yeah. I figure I'll finish him up today. We got a couple hours, hang out, talk shit. Fabulous. Hell Fuck yeah. yeah. We got what shit to talk about today. Hanging out, talking shit. Talking shit. This guy. guy. Uh -oh. What's up? <laughs> I'm actually working today. What? I'm, doing, I'm not snap building. What? That's working too, though. Well, <laughs> thanks, mean, for, uh, thanks for. Can I say thanks for joining? Oh uh, no, I uh, I entered uh, the clean versus weathered. Who? What? Uh, contest clean last boy? night. Yeah, I had a drink. Did it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just planning out some things. I'm gonna do the uh, hiyakushiki clean. Nice. Uh, oh. So I'm working out panel lines now. Just you gonna strip them? them? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Very yeah. Nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna yeah. keep the gold because uh, I've always loved the gold. But um, add some detail. Um, gold. I don't oh, know. Yeah, maybe two shades of gold. I don't know. I, Ooh, I've seen that a couple nice. of times, and sometimes they don't play well together. Like, rarely do you find two shades that look good together. Yeah. Um, you know that like one will be too yellow, one will be too silver. I don't know. So, yeah. I'm playing with that idea. I thought about messing with some spoons and seeing what just um, just primering in two different colors would do, like black primer, mm -hmm. gray primer, and then mixing maybe gloss and semi gloss to see if you could uh, catch the difference or if it would just be too close. So mm. we'll see. So, cool. Yeah. Very nice. Working right that out. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. It's going to be a, a challenge. The challenge is to complete it <laughs> <laughs> by deadline. Yeah, a few Before months. Before two years months. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the challenge um, for me. You got this, Paul. Let's go. Yeah, I think so. Um, got faith in you. Yeah. yeah, just working out some some panel lines and where to maybe add some plot plate. I don't want to add a lot to this guy because I always felt like he should be thin, thin and agile. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to add armoring onto him. I feel you. Strategi strategically placed, it could be really strategic. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So I've been. I got some reference photos from not necessarily Hayakashikis, but uh, like Zeta builds and and. Other people's builds to see what panels. Uh, look do you good. have a do you have a paint preference? Um, uh, for you're talking about like lacquer. finish or brand? Yeah, I, I use brand. lacquers mostly. Okay, you're a lacquer guy. Um, yeah. You ever, use, you ever use guy in those before? So yesterday night, I ordered maybe eighty or ninety dollars worth of guy paint from Galactic. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, no, no, no. So there, I use Mister Color stuff. So there are Damn. three types of there. Uh, there are four types of gold. That, I think I got all four. Uh, and got all four. Go with <laughs> so let me let me let me let me give you a quick tip about like those golds. Uh huh. Um, only two of those go well together. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do some test sprays because, like I said, I've seen a couple of people do gold, uh, even on like the Fenix and some other kits, and rarely do I see it where the two different shades of gold look good together to me. Right. Yeah. I agree with you there. So I don't know. I don't know. I might just do like two different finishes of gold, like maybe like a, a flat and a, uh, or not flat, I would say, but like a semi gloss and a high gloss, or I don't know. I'll play around. So, or maybe one like more polished than the other. Cause I like, I've always liked the, uh, like the 2.0 finish that like um, silvery gold, the metallic -y gold, rather than like, a, you know, like the Fenix gold, like that, that high shine gold. But yeah, I might play with like, yeah, I might play with like two different finishes or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, have you seen Mr. Hobby's Super Metallic Gold? Yes. I really yeah, like I how it's warmer and not yellow. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a, a, a brownish. Yeah. Color. Yeah, I have um, I have like a couple of alkaline. Like I have like the pale gold, which is in the bottle. 
it's pretty close to what the Hakushiki 2.0 comes in. Yeah. Um, and I have some Mr. Color Gold around here somewhere, and I have like some silvers that I guess I could do, like clear yellow over. Um, yeah. Like I said, I did get uh, the Gaia EX Gold, and I got the metallic thinner. Because I've seen what it does to. Um, Pab just made me pick up this uh, Elder Gold. Pab just made me. Yeah, no, he was, he was like, "Yo, you want a great gold?" I was like, "Of course I do." He was like, "You have eight dollars?" I was like, oh, "Yeah, I do, sir." And uh, it's really nice. It's like a more yellowy gold. Yeah, it's all the like super robot gold, you know? Yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs> um, super nice. I. First of fucking all, <laughs> make you get anything, all right? I just told you, oh, Elgin, they have Elgin Gold Galactic, and I was, I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to Tex. <laughs> he was like, Elgin Gold, hmm? my ears are pricky. He said, Julio, listen, you like gold? <laughs> I like gold. <laughs> I love gold. Of course. My first plan was um, just describe like fifteen thousand panel lines and paint it purple. Because right. I thought one particular judge would like that. Yeah, probably totally. get high scores. <laughs> no, no, no. From that. Actually, that's like playing the whole field there with all the yeah, right. lines and then painting yeah, purple. Playing, you really, oh, yeah. That's the shotgun spread, I think. For real. <laughs> I was going to dip it in glue, throw it in a bunch of plot plate pieces, <laughs> Careful, grab some lines in it, and paint it purple. And, you know. don't, don't, don't call it that if you, if you don't. Yeah, don't yeah. call it up the duck points. No. <laughs> Tim will, Tim will bust a nut in a bad way. <laughs> Pop a vessel in his eye hole. Yeah. <laughs> Styrene sheet. I'm sorry. St there you go. Yo, Pab's already deducted 10 points for me. <laughs> <laughs> he already deducted 10 points. So I don't expect uh, to win. I don't know what you're talking about, good sir. <laughs> Eyes. <laughs> Eyes in the seat. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> I feel like you and Tim are going to have a chat or probably a live, go, not a live, uh, a video chat going, and my shit's going to pop up, and you both are going to be like, next. <laughs> <laughs> no. Three points. <laughs> Easy. I'll, I'll say this as as a judge. I'm going to be completely fair, and and not. I'm going to try my best not to lean towards my, my, um, my bias. Aesthetics. Yeah, yeah be because, unbiased. It's part of it. Yeah, 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 because like you know, I mean, as much as I like that stuff, that that shouldn't count towards what I'm judging it for. So even if I see you purple or whatever, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? At most, you're getting one point. That's it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, maybe once the once the competition gets closer, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I will be looking for. But only if I get like the okay from Zach. Um, so it, it outlines what. You know, it's uh, categorized for points in each thing, but it's nice to play towards judges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not above that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, straight up. <clears throat> well, what I've been working on, I've been painting <laughs> this. I've been painting this little figure. Yeah. Uh, I can't really see it there. Let me pull the other camera out. Her so name is Amy. Amy. Her name is not Amy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cal. Oh, what the fuck? <coughs> name's goombas. <laughs> name is your bunch of Goombas. That's what it is. Right. Goombas from the Super Mario World movie. There we go. Those were fucked up Goombas. Those are some <laughs> fucked up Goombas. Oil paint, yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, boy. She still has... Um, it, likes, it likes my uh, my hand more than the figure. There, there you go. go. Oh, come on. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, camera. Seriously, don't fuck with me, y'all. Um, Anyways, yeah. Any questions? Put your whole hand behind her? <laughs> What's that? Put your whole hand behind her? You know? Yeah. It doesn't. Um, slide it in your fingers. Oh. It, it worked for a little bit. There Maybe, you no, go. No, there you oh, go. There you go. And then nope. move a little further away. 
Come on. You almost had it. Yeah. There's way too much shit going on. And I'm like trying to watch what I'm doing and watch the because I don't want to knock the model over. Don't do that. There we go. Obviously no. Um it it can focus. It doesn't There you go. go, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, she looks cross-eyed as fuck, dude. <laughs> she doesn't have any pupils. She can't look cross-eyed. She has no pupils. The darkness in like the, the corners of her eye made her look <laughs> super cross-eyed. <laughs> I know, right? Come on. Like everything is out of focus. I could, oh, 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 oh. You guys could do scans of my hands at this point. What the fuck? Yeah. God damn. I know this is the truth. There, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. She does look cross-eyed though. <laughs> oh, there are no pupils. It's all about the shadows. Yeah. I guess. Nice, man, you're going hard on yeah. that. Sort of. Uh, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever really done this. So. You're going hard. I do enjoy you're like anything like to this not, level. Not doing the skin tone justice because I saw the pictures on Discord, and it's much more natural. In the pictures you posted, it's, oh yeah, yeah. The, light, the light is washing out your your yeah. tone. Yeah, it, it, you got like a, a it's very um, I don't know, gray or blue, I guess. Yeah, it's not oh, as yeah. warm as it looks. Yeah, no, it's actually very warm. Yeah, the color is is like uh, totally washed out on it. Yeah, yeah. When I first airbrushed it, it was very gray, very light. There, I mean, I started out with um, like a, a very dark gray, and then I went into it with. Uh, tan and then a baby blue and then pink and then a flesh tone and then another flesh tone and then I started brush painting. So that was all just done with airbrush and then I went brush painting on the uh, on the skin tones and then all the all the clothing and everything's all just brush painted the helmet, and the boots and stuff. They will focus on the boots. The boots are pretty decent. Yeah. I'll just so brush painted it. I know. Showed it for like a half a second. Mm -hmm. I know. Right? I don't have the bouquet. I can't set the bouquet like Pabs. I don't have the skills with the camera gear. Anyway, well, that's what I'm working so, on. Yeah, soon enough. So yeah. So yeah, I know. I just need to get like a capture card or whatever for my camera and just do the shit. Where's the focus wall on that exactly? I do. Type I, do I do want to talk about the Barbatos real quick because I didn't really talk get to talk about it. You um, absolutely can. So. In terms of aesthetic, right? So uh, my client, so and for people that don't know, this is a commission. For those, um, this is a, so my client has, um, his collection is mostly metal builds. So the idea is to make this as, as, as aesthetically close metal. to a metal build without having metal pieces in it because the metal pieces were delayed up to April. So um, here is the arm so far. So you can see there's like different, finishes so you've got like the mat on some most of the armor and then you have like some metallic yeah. finishes all over the place like including the back right here so you can see it's it's like a, a nice little mix and obviously most of the armor is going to be matte so it's going to be uh I, I i've always liked the multi-finished look um mm -hmm. you know i mean for example here's another thing too of you've got the uh the matte outer armor but then you have the inner part which is a uh, candy overcoat so yeah, it's really nice, man. Yeah, it's like a, it, I, I've, I've, I really like that because it, it just gives it like a, a even if it was all matte, um, Paul, take it notes. wouldn't have the same. It wouldn't have that same kind of depth. <laughs> I, I, I feel. <laughs> so, what was that? How much matte would you say? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's 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 pretty much it. I also, I'm, and like yeah, I was also doing some hand painting just because you know why the fuck not? So here's like some hand painted details. Um, you know, most of the most of the, Very nice, the, the dark gray. So you know, it was it was painted mostly. Uh, well, it was painted silver first, then mossed off the silver, then um, airbrushed the the red, and then the grays were all hand brushed. So there's like like four of these fucks, and then um, let me see real quick. Then you've got this piece right here, which I just decaled, right? Um, all of this gray here was also hand brushed. Like it, it's just like just just. Trying my best not to go down into the dungeon as much as I can. Yeah. Because I don't like going in the dungeon. So. <laughs> Pebby, Pebby gets scared in the dungeon. I, I don't like that dungeon, man. Got that torture rack down there. 
<laughs> yes, that's what that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's it. That's, I just wanted to talk about it real quick. So hopefully, uh, my client who does watch the show as well as the other ones will will see it. And be like, oh yeah, he's making progress. Cool. It's looking great, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's it. Yeah, I like the. Uh... I like that one quite a bit. I like the finish on it. And I love that that bluish, the purpley blue, I guess you would call it. I don't know. It's, it's really, it's, it's just two shades of blue. It's not even like purpley blue. It's more like a, a it's cobalt just, and a royal. The top looks like blue. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's got yeah. like a, like a on camera right purple to it. Yeah. I mean, it's closer to, if you look at the, uh, to me, a uh, thinner ball color. Right? A little bit. Mm -hmm. Eric. <laughs> there you go. It's finally uh, f focused all the way, Brian. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to. I just had to get it into just the right spot and then adjust the light <laughs> and move. Not make yourself bigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That looks nice, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah, that's your uh, the last piece, and then Dunzo? yeah, the last little bit. Um, yeah, I can call it Donzo. I was gonna do some of these AK pencil filters, but I didn't even touch them yet. I have the opportunity to, so I might play around with those a little bit. They're pretty easy and pretty casual, like to use. So uh, go for ketchups. This is the real. This is the real hard part is just getting this little thing that I'm super like you know rusty at painting anything this small and fidelity. <laughs> Got me thinking how I want to get like a new airbrush that can paint really, really small. <laughs> because, because as much as um, you know, I grew up brush painting and am, am familiar with it, um, I do prefer the speed and the ease of the airbrush quite a bit. Yep. Um, can you change out your needle on one of your? Yeah, airbrush? my needle is at my needles right now. The one that I use is a .35. It's the smallest I can go to. So I'm looking at getting a different rig that can hold a smaller, different. You know, different okay. airbrush. I'm yep. so sorry. I got I got a point two. Yeah, exactly. You can do yeah, you can do down to one uh, millimeter lines to point two. Yeah. William okay. Wells is asking, can we commission Pabs to do a contest clean build? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I feel like there's a conflict of interest within that. Uh, yeah, no. It'd be uh, like uh, if you, even if you win, you definitely lose money on that deal. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, that Master Grade pack would not pay for the commission. <laughs> no shit, right? Yeah, the cloud and the cloud, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you can do it, but still lose. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I really like this shade of purple I painted. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this noise. <laughs> I'm actually going to show you guys like a, a really cool purple build I, I I saw a little while ago. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'll show I'll show you guys during the resin news. Resin news. No shit, my my backup. Um, like I had two kits I was deciding between, and and the backup one was going to be straight purple, like three different shades of purple, and I was like, no what? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> what up, boo? What up, Bill? What up, Mr. Bill? Oh, no, Mr. Bill. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do some purple action. I had to pull out the eyes. Just for Pabs. <laughs> Just do it. Do it because it's it's what your, yeah. your kit calls for. Don't do it because I'm freaking... <laughs> and I'm doing it in Pabs purple. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if, if any of these pain people are listening, Pabs purple, get to it. <laughs> for real. Nice shade of purple. What? 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 You're getting a what? tester. What? Tester. This kid's contacting you right now. Army painter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Talk to SMS, dude. Let's get paint. Who's that again? Who is that again? Um. Colony. The guy somewhere. down Australia. Yeah. Or. Yeah. Yeah. Australia. Tim knows him. Yeah. Tim knows him. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Pabs purple. What? Pabs purple. Definitely like animal. Bees, two B's and a Z. Uh, Brandon has a question. What? Uh, uh -oh. How would you guys recommend making a ring out of styrene and connecting the ends together? How big is your ring? What's your circumference, first off? 
Uh, that's a very private. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's, where's your girth certificate, sir? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and uh, it depends. How do you want it? Do you want it made out of like half, half round? So that you can slide it over some and it still have like a curve over it. Yeah, it depends on what you're trying to do. Right? Yeah. Would you make it out of a, a square? Have a solid square ring? One inch diameter made of 0.5 rod. Regular or just round rod? Hmm. Oh, you trying to roll it. Yeah. You probably just What roll you it need up. is a three manual roller. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, that's what she would use in the metal and working industry. Um, yeah, you can do the same sort of thing. What I would do and is take these off and turn the light off so that I'm not like blowing up the spot. Um, I would, uh, what you can do, and I'm sure that you know Tim would concur on this if you wanted confirmation bias. Essentially, I'm using a very thin piece of styrene for this, so I'm not going to affect anything. But if you have a straight piece of styrene and you're trying to get it to go round, think about like um, when you take a, a scissors and a ribbon and you like strop the ribbon and you make a curlicue. You just take the styrene and you like in your fingers, you just go like this and keep going like this. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing with my thumb a little bit on it right there. And I got like a perfect curlicue like that because it's thin, very easy to do. But you, you're adding heat and you're adding tension. And it's essentially just two points offset so that when you're putting pressure on the strip and then pulling them through in a lateral direction, it's going to create a kink and it's just a, a continuous kink. So you're sh like stropping it in essence and making that round. So where, how do you get to where you're trying to get to at that point? Right? So draw on a piece of paper, the circumference of the thing you're trying to go for, and then do your best to match the styrene to that. It might take a little bit of practice, but with half inch or did you say half inch or. Yeah. He it? wants it. He wants an inch. I need to run. One diameter, half millimeter rod. Very easy to do. Don't worry about it. You'll be very easy. It'll be very easy to do. But yeah, a couple times you may take the practice. But then yeah, you just get it to where it is. Make the over, make the circle oversized. Like not oversized, like too big, but make it so that it crosses over itself yeah. so that you can cut a perfectly tangential um, mark so that you don't have to work with like two flats trying to you know make a thing. You're dealing with two rounds that are the same circumference or the same radius, sorry, the same radius. And then, um, yeah. So that's my, that's on the next shirt. <laughs> uh, keep, keep, keep this in mind. Uh, two two flats don't make a round. Mm. <laughs> <You> Wise words. <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> two flats make a go down. Um, uh, that's all. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, brings the worst. Sorry. <laughs> All brains are the worst, not just yours, Julio. My brain's the worst. My brain's the worst. Everybody's brain is not the worst, working. man. It's ever since I caught that John Lynn, man. I've been feeling weird. <laughs> oh, shit. I hope you watch this later, John Lynn, and you're mad. You're mad. She's like, Brian only lurked on my stream for like a half hour or whatever. He didn't even comment. Yes, that's right. That is what I did. God. I'm busy. Yeah. Busy Paint boy. these fingers with dead eyes. Dead eyes. Get those pupils in there, man. How are you going to pupil it? You just like toothpicks? Plop, plop. I'm using, a, I'm using a, like a modified skewer right now. Mm -hmm. Very limited success. <laughs> sharpen a toothpick, man. Yeah. Why sharpen a toothpick? It's already sharp. No, get it, get it like thinner than it is. I don't mean sharpen it like stab someone. I mean like shave it down. Yeah. Riveting content. Uh, question from Dave B. What would be the best way to bond two pieces, thin pieces of resin with maximum strength? Ooh. How do you want to do this, babe? You want this one? Uh, yeah, 
go, you go ahead. You go ahead, Julio. Yeah. Then, then I'll try yeah, to. You go ahead. You go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. They're not gonna believe me. They're not gonna believe me. You say it. Go ahead. That's eh, cool, man. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, <laughs> you rubbing together real hard. Real hard. <laughs> <laughs> you spit on it. No, you're, you're good, man. Wow. Um, <laughs> bubble gum works every wow. time. <laughs> um, oh it being God. CA glue and baby powder, definitely. Mm, I wouldn't do baby powder if it's thin. Yeah. It, um, I probably. What do you mean, like bond them together? Without uh, like glue them together. Yeah, you just glue them together. Baby, baby powder and glue. I'm thinking if they're too like too smooth, you won't get a or not clean, you won't get a solid connection. All right, how do you do it, Pipes? Maybe I'm wrong. Huh? No, you you sound like you know what you're doing. Nah. What do you do? How do you do it, Pipes? Uh, I mean, you know, first off, first of all, CA glue and and and, and uh, CA glue and, and baking powder, depending on the, the the thickness of the the thing, is is fine. And it works. Oh, um, baby powder, could, baby powder drill. Yeah, um, you could also use a little bit of two part epoxy. Mm. That would work pretty well for me. I was gonna, I was thinking that would leave like a a skip. Well, whatever the resin since, is. since I know what Dave is using this for, like I'm I'm kind of thinking about it in terms of his situation. Okay. I don't know what he's using it for. I have no idea. You know what he's using it for. I'm not a clue, man. <laughs> I'm cool. You, you weren't on Critic Wall Builds last time, eh? <laughs> I was there. I listened. I looked. Really, you weren't there. Because <laughs> we talked um, about Dave's work on Critic Wall. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> shit. To bond those, like, detail parts to the top of it? Is that what you're talking nope. about? No. Nope. To the the base, no. Yeah, but not, for the detail, not, he's not, pretty, doing, no. Not for the detail. Oh, I don't know what what it's for. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. Poxy glue, but it won't be perfectly flush. Yes, that, that's what I was thinking about too. You'll flush. have to. Well, if you do yeah. so, you'll have to compensate. You'll have to compensate for the uh, the. The, the thickness. extra thickness. Yeah. That's what I was saying. You know, the thickness of the glue. Common issue. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everybody has that. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. All right. Boy. As nice as those things are, they suck. I freaking bet. No, they just, if I'm not wearing contacts, they just bite. I can wear, I like them because I can wear them over my glasses, but like they get a little bit annoying after a little while. They're great. I mean, they don't, they work perfectly. They illuminate really well. They uh, like do a great job of enhancing my view, um, but at the same time, I'm a whiny baby. Wee, <laughs> wee. <laughs> Why did it sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is bizarre. I need, to know, I need to know why they sound like that. That's how they sound in Julio's mind. <laughs> all the, all, that's what he hears when he lays down to sleep at night in his head. That's why he always has, has music going, because he yeah. all he hears when he turns off the sound. <laughs> it's haunting you, man. The sound of screaming babies. <laughs> why, Julio? Why? It's all the babies I kill daily. Oh. Yo, <laughs> slaying. <laughs> uh, That's good. <laughs> you guys, just something else. We're stupid, man. Yes. <laughs> On purpose. Yeah. Stupid, bro. On purpose, fun. almost. Yeah. Fucking me! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I just took them off and shit talk them, and I gotta put them back on. Damn it! Fucking take. That's what I get. Oh 
man. Uh, Pat, what are you decaling? Forearm? Uh, shoulders. Shoulders. I was. I was going to. I'm going back and forth between the shoulders and the. Uh... Um. Did you see that? Uh, those 3D printed detail up parts for the Barbatos. Yes. I want them. <laughs> get them. Yeah, I, I just want to print them myself though. Oh, <laughs> It'd be a hell of a lot easier. Question, you Brian. Can get the, you can get the. Uh, you can make the files yourself. Oh yeah, simple extrudes. Yeah, man. Uh, guys, can you give me a quick rundown on sanding down decals? Sanding down decals. Hmm. I don't um, really sand them down, but yeah, I would. I mean, if there's an imperfection in the overcoat that you put over your decals, I'd sand down with a really high grit, really, so that you can get little bits of it off and go like a phenomenally high grit. Probably, yeah, probably wet sand it. Oh yes, yeah. and then to be wet. This guy knows. This guy, he you knows. Wet. wet as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Question, Brian. Have you gotten to try the SMS paint yet? No, I haven't. Um, I almost chose them as my gift um, for winning OMC 2019, but instead I went with the Michael Herm uh, Rook model, as it often is out of print. So, and I know that I, they're going to keep making those paints. Um, but no, I have not yet had a chance to try those. I did play around a little bit with the Moto paints um, and their pre thin uh, lacquer, and they are wonderful. So, if the SMS paints are of anywhere close to that, then I'm sure they're fabulous. They're fantastic, dude. They really yeah. are. Yeah. One day I will. Sooner or later. Um, cool. It's not an imperfection, just a bit too thick for my liking. Uh, you have uh, softer. Maybe software help a little bit. You totally. The, yeah. the decal is too thick. Yeah, it's probably printed on really thick release film. There's mm. that too. Yeah, that's rough because the software is gonna melt though. Like, it might yeah, but hard. it will only do so much. Like those Mastermind decals, like the off-brand Mastermind decals that they sell on eBay you, or whatever. They're you, thick. Yeah. You've already clear coated. Oh, I don't know. If you clear coat, I mean, you're, oh, you're stuck yeah. with it. Like, that's it. Uh, Unless you're going to sand it all down and start over. I so, yeah, so, mean, um, so what you can, so I mean, technically, yeah, even, if, well, Miguel. even if you've clear coated, if it's a gloss clear coat, what you can do is, um, what Julio says, you can sand it down so that the stepping is away, and then you, you mm -hmm. just keep applying more and more uh, gloss coat until it levels coat, out. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have to be very careful, though, because once you've, once you, uh, you have to kind of check how thick your, your clear coat is going to be because you're going to start to fill in crevices and lines and stuff Details that you don't want. Yeah, you, yeah. So stuff that you don't want drowned in clear coat. Good luck, sir. And Godspeed. He <laughs> was like, Beep! scrap it, start over. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. What what uh decals are they, Miguel? Who'd you buy them from? Where'd they come from? Who is your daddy? Uh, Brian, I told you to borrow some of mine from Julio to try out. Oh yeah, hasn't happened whatever, yet. Whatever colors you want, bro. Julio and I haven't had a chance to hang out very much recently. There was just that one time that he and Manny stopped by, and we had like a hell of a laugh. And, uh, that's and I forgot, time. I forgot fucking everything. I didn't bring nothing. It's all right. It's not what it was about. It was about hanging yeah, out. It was about seeing faces. Hello. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Hello. Exactly. Hello. Rare socialization. <laughs> Aside from this wonderful time that we spent together here. True. Uh, all right. I'm going to make a drink and I'll be back. Hello. 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 Oh, crap. I left some stuff in the dungeon. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Ask your ghost to bring it to you. I'll wait for it later. <laughs> Yeah, has the has the the has speedy two bothered you since? Uh, one time. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. Close the door so your wife doesn't but, hear. She gets spooky. But completely <laughs> open minded, all right? Completely open minded. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, so my wife and I uh, were working remotely from home, and um, so uh, for lunch we decided, hey, let's take the dogs for a walk, right? Yeah. 
So, um, you know, we, so lunchtime comes around, you know, we're getting ready to go. Uh, you know, we're all, I'm all changed, she's all changed, because usually we just work in PJs because that's the comfort of working remote. Yeah. And uh, so my, uh, my wife is getting our little dog ready. It's a little Pomeranian ready, um, putting on her harness and stuff like that so she doesn't pull on her neck and stuff. And I do the same for the big dog because the big dog is, um, he's, uh, he, he pulls quite a bit because he's a, you know, big, strong dog. And uh, so, um, my wife gets her gets gets the poem ready, and you know, I ask my wife where the big dog is, and she goes, "Oh, I have no idea. I think he's in the, the dining room or something. I, I haven't seen him." So, uh, you know, I start looking for the dog all over the house. I can't find him. Eventually, I go into the dining room. He is in the dining room, completely ready to go, wearing, <laughs> wearing his harness and stuff like that. Like, hmm, but. <laughs> Like so, I asked my wife, "Like, did you put this on?" And she's like, "No." <laughs> Yo, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Well, okay, sure, then. Let's, let's go." Maybe you forgot you put it on him already. He's like sitting in. He's like sitting in the dining room, like staring at the corner. Shishan. <laughs> 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 I, I I hadn't I didn't touch him until until that that like when I it was time for him to to to, to go go. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, uh, well, that's all right. You got, go, yourself a nice, you got yourself a helper. That's wonderful. Yeah, dude. That's pretty like, good. Just be cool. Just playing it cool, man. <laughs> sure. Why not, man? Just, just playing cool. it cool, man. It's uh, cool. I don't know. I know lots of friendly ghosts over my lifetime. I'm not no one, that. sir. Ain't not a problem with that. You know any bad ones? No. I know some playful ones. I've not no one. Well, no is loose. Let's see. What are you talking about? What generic ones come from Ujo Land? Are you talking about V decals? Oh, okay. Perhaps this is the house from Skeleton oh, Key. Wow, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, Pabs live in the house from Skeleton Key. <laughs> Scribe around a decal, turn into the a dog is a genius, says Manny. Straight up, smartest <laughs> damn dog in the world. Pabs puts himself together for you. He reads your mind and then puts himself together for you. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Santos is going to send you his mother in law. She gets rid of it. She gets rid of it. Yeah, you can keep her for a while. You can keep her for a while. She's gonna wash the house, bro. This house clean is it. clean. Hey man, whatever it takes, you know. Yeah. Get rid of the bucket. Here we go. This is what Friend. I wanted. I needed Mother blunt Mother. trauma umber. Jesus. Yeah, that's what you need. Straight trauma. Right here. Focus. Nope. Oh, there we go. Blunt trauma umber. Right. Okay. And then you mix that with this one. Wait for it. Wait for nope. it. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, sir. Wait for it. There it is. Dermatitis tan. Dermatitis. Dermatitis tan. Wow, it's amazing that it will focus out here now. Well, that's fine. Okay. <sighs> I was using a uh, surgery sienna as well. Mm, sounds fun. Let me let me yeah. let me tell you guys something real quick. If you guys can grab this, if you guys can find a way to grab yourselves one of these. Very, very helpful. German gray, so robust. The uh, to me, enamel. enamel German gray. Where do you get the enamel from? There, that's, that's like impossible, no? Yeah, this this was a uh, snuck in from. You know, from <laughs> 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 that was like, if you can get this, it's illegal. But if you can get it, really helpful. Snuck at Combs, Holmes. You guys, you be the king. Yo, you, you need some cheat codes and shit, Pab. I don't like this. 
<laughs> Yo, well, fuck good it. public relations is not cheat codes. That shit is cheat codes, bro. You well, just gotta know. MI6. All right. You just know. If you don't know, you will know. You will find out. Yeah. So what I do is I usually just match the the grays I've been using on the frame. A couple of a couple of like very small drops of black, flat black, and then uh, like one drop of of uh, to me enamel thinner, and then you get to go. Yo. Mm. Mm. And then also you gotta use uh, you gotta use the the god hand. Honey, food day. <laughs> Which one is this, again? this is like the, the small medium. The small medium, and then I also use this one for like really small details. Very nice. What do you use to rinse your brushes after? Um so what's nice about these is 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 it's made for solvent. So um you can use the, the thinner to, to clean it out and it stays nice and, and, and put together and you can nice. use your unicorn tears on it. Yeah. <laughs> See that? I've used this several times already. Like just, just for hell yeah, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. How much do those go to her? Uh, I think fifteen. That's not bad. I don't, I don't uh, hand brush any enamels or lacquers because I don't have any brushes like that for him. eBay seal model. Is that for the the enamels to me? Enamel. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've, I've, seen them. I've got, I've seen them on the the black pages of eBay, but they also take like two months to get to your house. It's worth it, man. I've so, seen them on the black, black pages why, of eBay. Why can't I have them though? Like, what is it that, about them that I can't get? I don't it's understand. The, it's cheating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, the yeah. it's the um it's the trans it's the transport of flammable materials. That's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, well, like lacquer and all that shit is the, the lacquer spray cans aren't flammable. Yeah. yeah. They're they're transported Bustable? a different way. Oh, they're transported a different way. Yeah. Well, how can I get the other things transported the way that those are? Uh, yeah, like an import. Uh, Export. Yeah, talk to your people at uh to me, please, if you could. I'll uh, I'll 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 uh, I'll talk to you later. Paul. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they're these are great, man. They're so this they're so smooth. This is the one thing I don't mind hand brushing. Enamels. Uh, to me, enamels. Yeah. 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 yeah the testers and enamels don't really work that way. I don't know why. why. Yeah, I know. I've been. <laughs> I know. tried hand brushing them for years. Yep. God, yeah. Nice and hand brush, nice yeah. and clean, no issues, no mess, no fuss. Very nice. Dude. I do enjoy you know, the shoulders on them. Yeah, mint. I mean that's his main. That's his main weapon, though. So. Yeah, fucking yeah. mint, dude. Very nice. I have no idea what to do with the weapons of this thing. Like, make it a mega shiki. Yeah, no mega panel lines make sense to oh. me on the weapons. Like, I guess that means just don't do them. But yep, you can always add a little detail. Hey, can you uh, can you guys uh, can you guys smell that? Uh oh, that uh oh, uh oh, it's time for resin news. It smells like resin. Tab's like, I need a break. <laughs> it's time for resin news. Is I want time. Right? You're looking at this shit. One of these days, I'm going to make an opener for it. I'm just going to give it to Brian so he can use it. I will. <laughs> Resin News! Yeah, like I'm, going to, I'm going to have Julio sing it opera, opera style. I am I am a user of things. Oh, I think I got it. And almost to a place where I'm with it. Yeah. Where's your eyeballs? Yeah, you can't see because my damn fucking light. <sighs> Lens fell out and everything. God damn. Every time, because I am a bumbling idiot. Uh, in case you didn't know, so so uh, Charles Apprentice says you can hand paint Tamiya acrylics with similar similar uh, similar results. Tamiya acrylic plus Mister Hobby leveling thinner. The problem mm -hmm. is there, uh, Steve. If you already have um, some some paint put down onto your piece 
and then you use that, the Mr. Hobby leveling thing will react with all of the paints that you're using. Therefore, that will fuck up your paint job. Not, not cross-eyed. Make it bigger. Yeah, make it not bigger. Right. It up. Not right, make it something bigger. No, that's good. Oh, tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of painting this little shit. I am using a Princeton Velvet Touch 20 over 0 round. It's beautiful. It is tiny. I had a better job seeing the eyes. There you go. Right, it yeah. is very little bitty. Little itty bitty. It's very small. Yeah. How is it in relation to my uh, artificer layer citadel? It is like yeah. even if you let is, it cure, Steve, it'll it'll react to any paint that you use. This is the artificer extra small, and then my brush that I was using next to it. Woo! Tiny. Oh, bar. Tiny, and it's even got a, it's even just a teeny little bitty fat handle, so you and it's got a little bit of a grip to it, so you can hold it. Ah, so good. I got a handful of these from the art and craft store. Just go look at the brushes when you guys go to the art store or whatever, or wherever the fuck you are, whatever the store it is. It doesn't matter. You join fabrics. It doesn't matter yeah. what it is. Sometimes you'll find some good things. Yeah. This isn't for model painting. Who knows what this is for? That's what I use it for. I got, I got this one that allowed to paint some, around corners. Some good ones was... Uh, that's, um, that's, the, that's the brush from Wanted with Angelina <laughs> Jolie and, <laughs> John, <laughs> and McAvoy. <laughs> What do you got, Paul? Uh, I forget what um, what store it was in, but they had a section for um, building doll houses, and mm -hmm. they had some tiny, tiny, tiny ass brushes. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize That's... that people are like hand painting paintings that are like yeah, dude, that fucking big. I don't for doll mm -hmm. houses. Isn't yeah, my, like, what's um... wrong with you? How do you do that? My uh, my my mother in law, my very recently late mother in law. Um, was that kind of crafts lady and she mm. built a full on huge ass dollhouse that's in the house. We have to get, we have to go and like do all that stuff. So I'm going to take a shitload of photos and we can like, I'll submit it to critical builds. And <laughs> we'll look at a bunch of like model furniture and shit. Um, yeah. But that being said, all right. So the first one is the, uh, the GM dream uh, Lago one 100 scale. From, uh. Uh, Seed. seed. So now, they finally have some product photos of it painted and everything. And I'm not I'm not a big fan of the logo. I'll be honest. I'll be clear right That's here. Cool. It's it's cool and all like, like it's a cool it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a cool design. It's just never appealed to me, but this looks this looks pretty good. It looks awkward standing there. Hmm. It's supposed to be in a running pose. Give it a running pose. I don't know. That's weird. That looks better. That photo? Where all the like foot pads are on the ground, almost on the ground, that looks a lot better. They need to widen them shoulders, just, and, like just like the static pose. Yeah, uh, I do like it. You know, it's not bad. Gosh. I don't like the way they stand it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not bad. So um, yeah, they just recently updated this with product pose as uh, as recently as today. It's mm. the second today, right? Mm. Yeah. Yep. Me. Yeah, well, so not me. Yeah, they just updated this. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. If you guys like, you know, seed and it's gonna be seed destiny or whatever. <laughs> There's that. Okay, so the next one um is I thought the, that was a Zoid. Holy shit. It, no. it might as well be, right? Um yeah, the next one is a uh, another product sample of the Water Toys uh 160 scale perfect grade Exia um detail up conversion. Mm. So lots of little details on this guy, man. Yeah, okay. really nice. I do like I do like me some Axia. It's one of my favorite suits. That's a nice um, ass kit to start with too. Yeah, uh, it's already a nice base. They have a detail up for the Double Riser, right? Yeah, not by the same company, but yes, there is a um, a Maniac Studio or Studio Maniac. Um, oh, Maniac Double O. That's the PG, right? Yeah, PG. Yeah, it's yes, the bottom. PG. Perfect grade model. I see it. Right. <clears throat> yes. Sorry, missed that earlier. Yeah. It's really nice, man. This is one of the the few uh, kits I've seen, or one of the few painted versions I've seen of this thing. Where if I go back to the top, the back legs right here are painted in red. I've not. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that panel. That's a neat little part. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, right. it's interesting. Yeah, I like yeah, how so here's a little heel, like mm, the back okay. of his foot. 
It's a little bit. It gives him. Oh yeah, yeah. He's got more of an arch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got some uh, some unpainted right there, so you can see it pretty much changed. <laughs> 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 it, it, it it pretty much uh it, it pretty much changes up um ninety percent of the the panels. So you've got like yeah. the originals right there, a couple right there, but it's mostly brand yeah. new. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that I do little, like sensor on his ear on the left right there. Side? Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can find a side photo of him. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there's some shit there. It's pretty cool. Right there. Yeah. Interesting. That's an yeah. interesting design. Interesting choice. Me <laughs> gust. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So, the next, sorry. What up? so the next thing is uh, more of a packaging uh, preview. So, um, so if you guys remember UGL Land in Anchorage, um, I, show, I showed it off, I think, was it last week? Um, the, um, the Providence, right? The Providence uh, conversion kit from UGL Land and, and oh, Anchorage. Yeah. Yeah, they um they've really upped their packaging game. Oh, wow! Oh. Because the last Ujjal Land box, well, the only Ujjal Land box that I got is fucking nice. That's gorgeous. Yeah. This is a very nice. Yeah, nice. real nice. Like, I've look. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> what? Nice, bro. What? <laughs> what? This is really nice. Like they really went out with in terms of like um just just presentation, man. Presentation. Oh, yeah. Um. You Joe Land are a second to none. Yo, that box cost money to make. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's nice. nice. I love the I love the General hard decal is gonna sell it fifty dollars off, no box. <laughs> I love the hard case for the decals and the instruction booklet and all the metal etch and everything. That's fucking nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Hard, yeah. Anchor has always been so good though, dude. Manny will I'll answer your question in a second. I will answer your question in a second. But um yeah, so uh, Providence packaging. So if you guys again, if you guys like the Providence, this is coming out. And I mean, this packaging is, is uh, I really like it. Yeah, it's gorgeous, dude. Pretty really cool. What's the right, price so, tag on that? Do you know, I think it's like one fifty, one fifty seven. Hmm. Like that. Nice, it's not terrible. Honestly, yeah. I mean, it's a lot so, of parts. From yeah. what I Paul, remember, you've got. I mean, both you and I have the Alex. But what's the other one that you have? I have the Exia Dark Matter. That's. Mm -hmm. But I think that that's before it was Anchorit. I think that's actually Infinite Dimensions. Yeah. So, so there, there's two versions of that. So there's the there's the the UGL Land version and then the Anchorit version. They're they're identical except the packaging. Mm. And I have the Sazabi, the Anchorit, the two point Oh yeah, I got that as well. Yeah. So uh, the next two things are the same things. Um, these are uh, pre-orders from from GKM, and these are the um, Evangelion Evo Two. Mm. I showed these to the guys the other day. Um, very strange wow. take on these things. Giver, nice. Very very bio, yeah, bi yeah, very bio armor. If you guys like that look. So here's a. This is Unit Two, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Unit Two. So. Uh, yeah. Pretty... What? That's a full resin kit. It's a full resin kit, yes. Oh, okay. It's fucking nice, dude. It's got an insectoid. Yeah. yeah. It's a beetle bullet. I like it, actually, for what it's, it's worth. Like, it's a, for being a weird stylized take. Like, I don't like a lot of the weird stylized takes on uh, on the AV units, but I, I like this one. They did yeah. unit right. one, too, right? Yeah, there's a unit one right here. Yeah. Very oh, nice. Oh, I've, yeah, and I've seen this. This one is tasty. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah, yeah. I like this one quite a bit. I didn't see unit uh, unit two <laughs> or unit two looks nice, but fucking unit one. Look at it. What is that paint? I want it looks like a glow in the dark. That's I a think oh, yeah, that's paint paint. render. Yeah. No? Oh no. No, these yeah. are painted. These are painted samples. Ooh. That's fucking nice, dude. It's almost more along the lines of like figure painting than, than mecha yeah. painting at that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, um, it looks I like think... something out of spawn. Kind of, yeah. kind of. It's really chitinous, you know? Right. It's like chitin, totally. Yeah. It's covered in chitin. Really cool. Really nice. So, yeah, so these are available to pick up from uh, from GKM. Um, $51. That's what? Yo, I want one. <laughs> you want it, yeah, that's actually pretty cheap, right? Yeah. Uh, I, think I, might, I think I might get a, a discount on these two. Whoa. Nice. Let's do it, group by. I'm into it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if you guys want one, um. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and then um, what else was what else is there? Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think it's this one, the progenitor effect. So if people, so there are people out there like who like the um, the I can't remember what they call the Devil Hunter, like Metal Beal series. These are kind of some of the designs that they're they they've been um, they're teasing, I guess. Interesting. So uh, yeah, for anybody who who might be um. Who might be joining OMC? These might be a, a really cool uh, piece of inspiration, just because they're 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 technically original yeah. mecha. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's so. really nice. I These like are really nice designs. Yeah. Yeah, those designs. Are really yeah. Cool. What was what was that mecha anime? Valbrave. Valbrave. Yes. Um, Even lime barrels. I want to say some of these like this one reminds me of lime Ooh. barrels. Wow. Lime barrels. Wow. And, uh, call back but yeah so um yeah these are some of the stuff that they that they've been like previewing and, and kind of teasing so if you guys are, are into into uh figure collecting i guess or you know that kind of thing i know i was into it for a while with transformers but um you know if you guys like this this is this is some of the stuff that they might be coming out with soon so i really oh, like this white one yeah dude that wasn't the last one the black and red yeah <laughs> fucking nice I really like these. Yeah, this is way too similar to the 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 one that they released, the one that that was uh, originally a resin kit. Yeah, um, dude. The, the Vidar. The Vidar. Yeah. It's way too similar. Yeah. So, um, yeah. If you guys like that, that's that's that. And then finally, um, this is the, the the painted kit I was talking about. So this is the uh, the the Judge from Zero Gravity, <laughs> uh, painted up in black and purple. Holy shit! Tick on all pads is funny parts. Yeah. Taking all the boxes. Do <laughs> weapons? Check. Wings? Check. <laughs> Good <Purple>. beat, <beef. laughs> Check. Yeah, this deep yellow? Check, man. Check. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is this is a really nice. Um, yeah, this is a really nice build by uh, uh, Reasoneth on Weibo, but uh, I don't know if he's on anything else. I hate um, an action base, though. Yeah, this, oh. is a, this is a kind of doo-doo. But we're not here to critique his work, and also I'm not, I'm not, I'm not reposting this man's work for no credit. So re Zenith on Weibo, give him a follow. Yeah. If you guys are on Weibo, if yeah. not, then you know whatever. Means went hard. He went hard. Yeah, I so. do enjoy, bro. What? What? Those aren't. It's not like pure black shades either. It's like no, no. These are these are very dark grays. Yeah. Dark grays. Yeah. Fucking yeah. nice. What's that color? Oh, Rubber. Lord. Color blocking yeah. point. It's like a, it's like a maybe like a tire black, maybe even. Mm. Mm. Nice, bro. Beautiful, beautiful. All the little pops of color everywhere. Yeah, yeah dude. Really nice stuff, man. Well done. I didn't even notice the gold. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Shit. Look at this man's carpet. <laughs> Or is it yeah, a really well done, man. Yeah, this is really nice. Really nice masking, really uh, clear and concise and crisp. Um, so yeah, if you guys, uh, man, you know, uh, so uh, for people that don't know about um, Gundam Model Central, they recently released two of these, and I managed to pick up one. Oof. For a like, price? Yeah, and, well, it was a, there was a, a a bit of an up price. It was like one fifty one after shipping. Mm -hmm. Fucking so. nice, bro. That's not too bad because right now what is shipping like forty bucks? Twenty seven. It's twenty seven for not, shipping, so not bad. Uh Paps, how big are those ever uh resin statues? <laughs> Good question. I have no idea. It doesn't oh. actually say. Like, it doesn't even say the height right there. Mm. Fucking Maybe it says on unit two. Maybe unit two has it. Count me in. Fucking nope. <laughs> One yeah, centimeter. So, it's a centimeter. <laughs> that's uh that's the that's the rest of the news. Nice. Yeah, it might it might be as big as the one four fours. Real great. Mm. Okay, those, those are pretty big. Let me see if anybody asked the question. No, nobody's asked the question about it. <laughs> so fucking Steve sent me this. You yeah. very cool. Company. Which is awesome. It them back in time. Okay. Steve, I'm gonna need you to send me stuff to me. It's, uh, it's a like a bevel. It's like a bevel sander. Oh. Angle sander. Well, angle sander. Well, bevel. Any any surface over a great great period is a bevel. So, uh, and this is actually a, a called a bevel gauge. 
this tool right here. So I'm gonna call it a bevel sander. Um, <laughs> Circle thing. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, and it's kick says it's from this by I've seen a lot of different builders use these. Um, they're great for tuning things together, making sure that all of your parts are the same size. You can either use it to sand a small component into an angle, or you can use it to sand a large component into a bevel up to a certain height, um, which is pretty swanky um, and very easy. I do a lot of chamfering and stuff like that, so this is cool. I'm gonna use this. Thank you, you kick ass. He also sent me um, as well. This is all just like you know, thanks for being cool. Um, these like caps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, <laughs> a pack of those. That was one of those like HLJ. Yeah, they're three dollars. Yeah. So I threw them in a shipping order. Exactly right. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's not a thing that I would have even thought about being an ex in existence. And it's so helpful. I've already used them today, so it's been great. Everything's fabulous. Um, I did just pull this out of the box officially because I've been busy. Pink. Issue, uh, Steve. Kick ass. And I uh, boxed up both Chris's and Steve's um, models today, mm. as well as the cookies and something else for Flying Grizzly, the uh, the tail for the Sasabi, for the Masquerade Sasabi. So uh, you watch this in the future, Flying Grizzly. Uh, I'll contact you soon to get that figured out, because I think he's over in the UK, so we have to ship it internationally. Um, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, guy got his uh his wing zero that I sent out. I think he fucking finished snapping it before I was done with mine. Like <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, granted, you only have to work on it one day. Oh, a week. I know, but like I sent it to him and the next morning he had the suit snapped minus the wings. <laughs> like, Shit. <laughs> It's a fun build, man. It I, is. It's a really nice kit. I just throwing it together, you're like, ooh. Me goosed. Just a little flaps in the back of the legs. I was like, okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All the, uh, the armor cutting with the... Uh, I did not finish prep. that. I got a surface prep it. I sanded it down a bunch, but I haven't painted it or primed it or anything. Mm -hmm. Fuck that little thing. Fuck that little thing. Mm -hmm. little thing. Mm -hmm. Manny and Tyfurious asked a question a little while back, too. While yeah. We in time. It's not about the high end. It's about the functionality. Column. Yeah, if it works, it works, bro. Um, I forgot when that's even due. I think like April. So I got the rest of this one to do it. Uh, so ha so Colin Highcrack says I got some chamfering tools. I'm gonna send out soon. Definitely not as high end as that though. Uh, I ju I just like I just like repeating it just 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 to to, to nail it home. It is. And that's one of the, that's one of the, the the I don't Colin I don't know if you um if you've announced when the critical stuff is happening because you said it was you said last week it's coming out this week uh, this week so I'm, I'm not really sure when but I was gonna transition to hey there's some limited edition critical builds uh, high Craig tools stuff that's coming out uh, whether whether that's this week or whenever uh, so uh, if you guys want to keep an eye out the first one is Paz purple yeah <laughs> so <laughs> got the color down he's got the colors down. I know that I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again for you guys out there that are interested in using oil paints. Save some cardboard swatches. If you get a good clean, it's got to be clean. Your cardboard's got to be clean. If you can find some good stuff that's got like a nice tighter weave. Of, you can see how many little, little wovels, weevils. They wobble, but they don't fall down. Nah, man, uh, I'm in that shit. Um, wow, I just totally carbon dated myself. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah. For putting oil paint on to soak that linseed oil out, they work great, and it's better to have them because the worst thing is when you need one and you don't have one. So um, I always try to keep like I need to actually make some more. I think I'm down to only having like five. Just saying. Uh, Colin says, uh, hoping this week, just getting the stock up so no one is waiting. Nice. So uh, I believe Manny had a question, right? Uh, and I was trying to, I was trying to avoid it, but I don't think Manny's gonna let me avoid it anymore. So, 
<laughs> well, uh, so Manny, what was your question again? You want to type it up again so I can all, I can read it out loud. I can just, I'll just find it and put it up. <laughs> you beast! <laughs> no, I want him to type it again because make to make him work harder for it. <laughs> How do you guys feel about taking uh, p- about people taking photos of your models and reposting them without giving you any form of credit? Uh, Does anybody want to chime in? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it at all. I agree with Julio. Yeah. Not cool. Not cool. Some people just don't have the skill or talent to perform such feats of amazingness. And I... they, they decide to, you know, just share it for themselves. Fuck it, you know? I'm going to be so jealous. He That's so much self loathing in a reposter. They look at other people's work and they're like, oh, I wish. Oh, it's I want. Oh, I wish. It's and certainly fine to-, to shout someone out for enjoying their work, but yeah, just, give them, just give them the credit. Not that hard. I mean, unless it's some like extenuating circumstance where you can't figure out who the builder is, but then probably just don't mm-hmm. repost it. Yeah. No. Nope. So uh, in in today's social media, right there, you can't really avoid it. If you, if if someone finds something you do cool, they'll either share it or they'll repost or you know whatever. And it's 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 unavoidable. Um, but yeah, and there are some there are repost there are repost accounts out there. So specifically, let's talk about Instagram. Um, yeah, you know, there there are repost accounts out there that that do it. I want to say right. Um, you know they're you know they tag you they 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 make sure that that whoever's work it is is there is a source for them to to go and and you know they they'll point you in the right direction of where they found it, um, and that's perfectly fine because you know the spreading not only does it yeah it spreads your work and it it you know it's still it's still technically your work it's still your work um, but there are reposters out there who decide. Uh, that they're not going to do that because it's too much work to point you in the right direction, and will will for some reason do the the additional effort of then removing your watermarks from your from your images, um, and then post it on their on their page, and that um, that's definitely not cool. You know, um, you know, you, you know, people some re- like reposters like that don't account the hundreds and hundreds and hours uh, you know of work that these people. Put into their into their builds, you know. I mean, a, a great example is is Brian's work. Like Brian puts in hundreds and upon hundreds and, and of hours. His his ass is flat in an A4 sheet of paper. He sat down on that chair so much. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know like um, <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, you know, hundreds upon hours, hundreds of hours. You know, hunched over a desk, working hard, trying to get these things to look the way they should, and then. You, you know, you, you're not also accounting for the time that, that pe- these people are taking, taking photos, uh, you know, to the best of their ability to make these things present as nicely as they can, you know, without... I'm trying to say I can't take good photos. No, 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 no. no, no without, you know, without, no. without retouching, without edits or anything. Like that. Um, that was true, true. Yeah, so, uh, you know, they, they don't account for that. And it's, to me, it's, it's, even though some of these things aren't your design per se, this is, it's still your hard work. And to me, it's IP ceiling. It's your, it's your work. It's your, you know, you put you put your 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 heart your heart and soul into it, and you you work hard, um, and and it also has your name on it, and they are they are they are actively removing it, and that's not cool. That's, yeah, I don't find any difference between someone doing that and some like if you painted a painting, and someone took it without your permission and and made a poster out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's, what's the difference really? Mm-hmm. Well, I also don't get the purpose. I mean, that's just me, but like what. What are you accomplishing? Like, what? It, it's not. It, and you know, it's not even about the popularity side of it, right? You know, you yeah. know, I'm not. I'm not getting mad at it because, oh man, you're ta- you're, you're getting more likes than I am. Like, you know, whatever. That's not. That's not the the purpose of of why I said what I said this morning about it. It's because it the, that person has just disregarded the hard work I've put into these models and and just just put put it out there. Like, it's not. That's not. That's not the right way to go about it. Like um, a couple of well, last year actually, yeah, last year, um, as someone took photos of my unicorn and started using it as um, product photos for their website, 
without my permission. Like they actively removed the wall marks. They did all that stuff. And they started using my images and, and somehow I found them because they were in Malaysia. And, um, you know, that's like it, it, that was like one of the, one of the biggest defenders. And then it's happened to me ever since. And this is the first time I've spoken up about it and I'm going to start speaking up more about it. I'm yeah, moving fuck forward. It, dude. Fuck these people. Yeah. Dude. Because that's not, it's not cool, man. Like that's not, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Essentially is what I'm saying. Typically in this day and age too, like most watermarks are people's screen names. You know what I mean? Like rarely will, will a watermark at this point be like someone's full name, like, you know, Brian Denclau. It'll be bro builder, like his, his username or something like that. Especially if it's, if it's intended for internet use, which almost everything we do is. So they're, they're typically watermarked with the username. Like it's not hard to search on Instagram and say bro builder. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's the hundreds of pictures of the same thing I'm putting up. Uh, it, it also sucks when someone puts their watermark on your shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, like, whoa, bro. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I did this. <laughs> oh, sir, please remove your watermark from my shit. Thank you. See, that's why nobody reposts my shit. I make doo-doo. <laughs> I, mean, I, was I mean, doodle. I don't fucking care. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what is this weird little tubby demon? I'm not gonna post. Yeah, that. You know, post this little <laughs> fucking shitty fat dude. <laughs> Who the fuck wants to post that? Uh, maybe we yeah. repost my shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys missed it. Um, this morning, I found out that uh, a Russian uh, repost account decided to start putting up photos of my work and, and removing my watermark from, but from like them. a lot of your work. Yeah, a lot of my work. There's at least four of my bills on there, and none of them have been. Yeah. Uh, probably. There, there are two with my with with my name, I think, um, and then two of them with completely without and yeah. and uh, the watermarks were all removed and stuff. So. I don't know how the fuck that account has so many followers, too. Like, the reposters got mad fucking followers. Everybody's just like, yeah, fuck it. And they'll do all my searching for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Maybe. I don't know if it's that way, though. Maybe some people that follow don't even realize that that's, that's like, that's you know? Yeah. They're like, oh, this guy, you know? Or especially if, like, the, the reposter occasionally builds something, even if they build something that looks exactly the same as every other thing they've ever built ever in their entire tenure in building. Yeah. They might be building something, so think, oh, this guy builds, so, oh, this other work must obviously be, you know, obviously. his, because he's, yeah. you know, quote-unquote reputable. Look at how many followers. There's a reputable builder or whatever. Yeah. They have so many followers. Nah. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. No, you're right. I don't know. I know. Insane. Yeah, I really like the feet on this uh, Tucker Man guy. You like Man, the feet? It's, yeah. it's honestly, it's one of my favorite designs ever. This, this, this guy. This and his evolved form, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, I haven't read this in a while. Got to hunt around on. Uh, fuck that guy. Yeah, um, fuck that guy. Yeah, Steve says not tagging builders is as bad as eating digest digestives without tea. Uh, look, so, like I said, this isn't the first time anybody re has reposted my work without credit before, right? Um, and it's never really, it's never really, uh, it's never bothered me so much as to go to say something about it. But this is like, I think this is. The, the straw that broke the camel's back for me just because it's it's happened like in the in this entire time where i've been sharing my work i've always told you like my my like my advice and my my knowledge and my skill are free i will i will hand them to you gladly like any advice any tips i can give you i will give you um but when you start taking hundreds of my work and 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 posting them because you want to be popular, I'm gonna, I'm going to start taking a bit of a, an issue with that, yeah. because you're not taking it because you want to show, hey guys, you can do this. You're showing this because, hey guys, I want to be popular. Hey, look at this. That's not cool. Yeah. 
the sad part is it's like it's purely for followers. Like there, there can't be any monetary gain. What are you gonna get out of it? Someone's gonna sponsor you or something like that for reposting? I don't know, man. I don't have a shitload yeah. of followers. So I have no idea. No, but I mean, like you know, even if you had, like, let's say you know, you had a million followers for being a builder, you know, you you could potentially turn that into into product, into you know, sponsorships, into whatever. But what what is it that you're gonna get out of just reposting someone else's build? Like, it's a popularity contest. But I mean, if you chose Gundam modeling to be popular, there's a whole nother conversation we have to have because it's a fringe hobby. And that painting and customizing is a fringe of a fringe hobby. Yeah. You know, like what's what's your max audience there? (laughs) (laughs) So you can flex them to girls. Yeah, and all these dudes have... Spent all their money on plastic model kits. They don't have no money to give you. Yeah. Yeah, right. Steal some picture of a naked girl and repost that. You'll probably get more likes. <laughs> That's your pure goal. Oh, shit. Mm. You're right. You're right. Um, there's just one guy out there. He did all that shit and he still hasn't gotten sponsored. <laughs> Oi. You doing something wrong, bro. Well, you know, it goes to show that it's bigger than that, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm sure he'll just add another uh, bullshit. another ab to his Gundam model and make it a little taller in the waist. And, you know, see, next one will work. See, Michael, that, that's, that, that's the thing. Like, I would, I would never charge for, my, for, for, for giving answers and, and stuff like that. Just, that's just not. No, we never. Not, I'll, I'll fucking charge you for. I'll be honest for t-shirts and shit. Hey, I can for those t-shirts, please. You want to? Thirty-five dollars. Hey, I bought. I bought a. Shirt. I bought, I bought a shirt. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do a quick segue. Uh, you know, if you guys want the, it's all words, baby, and uh, to me, it's a fail shirts. I know. I know. Paul ordered one. I also yeah, know I Brian did. ordered one a, a little while ago. So if you guys want, um, um you have uh for twenty-five days. Until so those are, t- are taken out the store, and then new ones are up, and uh, this one it will be based off of uh, Julio and Kyle. So, yep. uh, get your asses ready. <laughs> Prepare your buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pro Pro uh, Pro Thug two thousand four. That's a that's a cool name, dude. Um, seems more like a pan a pandemic hobby. I can't find any kits I want. Oh, oh shit! Uh, yeah, it's no, tough that's right because. Now, man. There's yeah. been a huge, huge resurgence in scale hobby like this, scale modeling. Yeah, people are home. Really and do. and it's also, there's some challenges with shipping. Oh, yeah. So mix those two things together. and What are you looking for? Yeah, yeah what's, uh, your, what's, your, you know, what's your kit? Uh, Prothak, where are you looking? As Bill is asking you, like, are you looking in the right places? Like, man, there's, there's a ton of resources you can check out. I mean, it also depends on where you are, too, I guess. Yeah. 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 I remember how this foot came together. I feel, I feel like, so I say I said that your name was cool because it, it reminds me of a name that, that was, uh, that was, I uh, may, may or may not have seen during a, uh, a session of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Some dude was just sniping me from very, very far and headshotting me constantly. I was very angry as a child. It reminds me of uh, Endgame, Moodmaster69. <laughs> I just watched Endgame earlier today. Yeah. That's a good one, bro. Because I got that uh, Disney Plus. So. We, were, uh, we, were, we had recently rewatched Black Panther. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Kind of fresh, yo. I don't it. Chadwick Boseman, fuck that guy's a goddamn legend. Zaki Sniper, Crossbow Moa. Um, oh, Sniper is hard to find anyway. Yeah, Zaku Sniper is real hard to find. And uh, better I, off Moa got a RG release recently. No, the the the, the Crossbow Moa. I don't yeah, think so. It's a Peebo. It's a Peebo, yeah, but yeah, but that's not regular release. Yeah. I think they have HGs of them too. You're right? looking for some. Yeah. A rare. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking for some Grail style stuff, which I understand. They're good stuff to look for. I mean, you could try the Facebook groups. Yeah, somebody's got one somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, sometimes people need to liquidate stock. They've got like a backlog or something. And you never know until you check. True. Yeah. I built this but kit so say, long ago, I forgot how it went together. I can say I've never seen a Zaku sniper in the wild. So. True. Yeah. And I, I, I am a Zaku hunter. I go for the Zakus because I like them. And I always keep my eye out. And I will like go back and forth and walk six blocks away and be like, you know what? Fuck it. I got to go get that. Who knows if I'll see it again. True. Especially if it's out in the wild, you know? It's a curse and a blessing sometimes because you're like, oh, this is great. I found this thing. So then you're like, fuck, I don't want to spend that much money. <laughs> <clears throat> like right now on that here in the Lower East Side, like <laughs> in Toy Tokyo, do they deserve it? Do they deserve my money? Ah! <laughs> yeah, take take it. I know. A lot of times that's what happens. Yeah. Uh, Michael Dawson says I can't let my parents find that Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you feel, man. So I want to cut a um, like a third joint into the foot. Not a real one. Like it's not mm -hmm. going to actually move. A fake one? Yeah, yeah. Just give it the illusion that it's got like a, a separated toe. Oh yeah. Um, a <laughs> but I don't know if I want to cut all the way through the bottom of the foot. Like, but then I feel like I'm lazy if I just cut like the side arm. <laughs> yeah, like if I'm just going to cut the side. A, uh, if Paul, if it's not a functional joint, why would you need to cut it all the way through? Because because uh, he knows. Because I'll know it's going to be there. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you're Don't worry about it. Uh, Bandai also reproduces kids for certain series every once uh, once every year or two. Like Thunderbolt, sometimes you got to wait for them to put them. Yeah, they'll reprint them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every once in a while they send out a survey to the different shops and organizations and then they get feedback and find out what kids are people are really wanting for them to produce that they aren't producing or are hard to find and then then they rerun things like the rebake full city not full city but the rebake um Gusian was up for consideration here this last round uh and yeah um a couple other ibo kits actually were on that as well like grim girl grim Gerd and um can't remember what else but yeah some things that they just aren't producing anymore so um, yeah, it's great. I have one. I will turn it into, or not Grim Grid, I mean the other one, the one that it turns into. Uh, Reincar? The one turns into it. No, yeah, the Grim Grid turns into the Helmer Reincar. Thank you. Yeah. You corrected me. Because I was going to do, remember, Paul, I bought that yeah, at, uh, the, the yeah, yeah. yeah, at Anime NYC or M, uh, uh, Image Anime, Image Anime in New York City. Was it there? We didn't get it in like Chinatown in that basement? No, 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 no. In that basement mall? <laughs> No, no, I got the, I got, the, yeah, in Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Center, yeah, exactly. Um, we, uh, no, we got it at, um, yeah, it was at, I bought it all the way up there, and then I carried it around the whole entire day just in case I found any other things, I think. Or did we, did I get it down there? I think you, you got know, it down I think there, right. I don't think we could find it anywhere we else. Have it. We went to, I was uh, looking for it, and I asked, because we saw Gabriel at the, in Image yeah. Anime, and I asked him. And then we went to right. Image and, uh, and Midtown, and neither one mm -hmm. of them had it. Yeah, and then yeah, we walked all the way down to Elizabeth, and then we stopped in that Warhammer spot for just a second on the way and back. That, that train store, we it was closed. Yeah, it was like a oh, train, but it was like I think that was what they had out. It's in called the, the Red Caboose, but it's all sorts of models. They were open like an hour after we got there. Or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. I after I found out about that, that I mean I've been back there several times since then, but I was kicking myself. Because that place is awesome. We, didn't we walk across the street and go to Book Off anyway for probably like an hour? We, yeah, so like we, we like probably, down. like we probably could have left Book Off and went back. Yeah, yeah. I just was like, oh well, <laughs> dismissive. Don't be dismissive, guys. Uh, so Michael Dawson has a question for Brian. Uh, oh, question: shit. What is the idea you're going with your Sinanju Stein, Brian? Uh, I'm going weathered camo on my result. I don't want to tell you. I want to tell you. <laughs> Red. No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to go weathered. Uh, military. 
obviously I will say it's going to be very military. I'm going to be doing modifications to some of it already. I've already started to lay some of the things out here. I've been redlining notes in my instructions. Uh, habit I picked up from this guy, uh, Luca Zampriolo. You might have known him. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got a plan and I've got um, a little bit of uh, things already like in the works on the side. Uh, it's going to be very dramatic and uh, I, I'm going to have a lot of fun building it. That's all I'm going to say. Wow, what a way to not answer a question. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't mind you asking. I just am not going to. I can't talk about it. But it'll, oh, it's going to kick ass. It is going to kick ass. Kick ass! I've got a lot going on. Um, here's the... <laughs> Here's this thing. Make yourself bigger. Why don't I Biggie. show it on the other camera? Biggie. 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 Yeah. Biggie. Yeah. Make him biggie. Make him biggie. <laughs> and then when you I'm I'll do my best New York accent. And then when you bent over and you're picking the, your, your teeth off of your crap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You guys know what the hell Pat's talking about? I think, he's lost, I think he's lost his fucking mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Hey, well, I won't, there it is. Nope. Look at that. Not crossing. Pupil. It looks Not like bad. she's on the phone. It does, right? I think she's supposed to have. I think she's supposed to have like an antenna on there that I just like ditched. It's supposed to like, yeah, because it's another thing. It's just another fucking thing. <laughs> so I'll back this up. Woo, because it's a big model. So here's what she's riding on. Yeah. Um, oil rendered over the chip. Everything is assembled, put back together. Um, I gotta glue that on. Guess I thought I glued that on. Um, I did, I did the tiny little, this is kind of dumb. I did this tiny little magnet back here that I put in the screw that I used to hold this thing. Cause it's like no other way to hold it. So that's where I attached my alligator clip skewer and I just glued yeah. a magnet on the back of the engine. That way it doesn't fall off anymore. <laughs> it's nice. Um, there's more parts that go on this yet that aren't fully there, but it does look pretty good. Oh, I don't, have, I don't like it. It gives me kind of like a what was that big the big guy from Crash Bandicoot the big Crash Bandicoot it gives me the tiny that's what his name it gives me kind yeah, of like tiny. a tiny mm -hmm. tiny feel but it's the uh, Machine and Krieger Groverhound Quado Quado right? <laughs> yeah because of the uh, because of the little arms and stuff that go in the front but uh, yeah it's just like wrapping up basically just wrapping up the, the finish on, on the pilot here. It's going to be sitting on the top, which I'm basically done with. I just need to uh, matte coat her so that she matches everything. I'll put it together and see if I decide I want to put any of those AK filters on or not. I might. That's, or I mean, fil I say filters, but it's just these pencils, using these pencil set that I got forever ago, and I have yet to use. Every time I talk about it, my wife gives me a sideways glance from the other room because she bought them for me. Yeah. And then I have yet to use them. Yo, you said, uh, what is it? Uh, the guy from Crash Bandicoot? And yeah. I started thinking, Ooga Chaka, Ooga Chaka. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. I must say, oh shit, sorry. I keep my feeling deep inside me. Can I give you guys a quick product review? No, Why is she you can't. I don't want to know. Uh, Michael Dawson, she's just, it's just the squad. It's just the way it is. You can only get so many uh, models out there. And I try to buy the models hey. that have clothing on as opposed to the ones that are clothless, which is the majority of the figures out there. Um, so you take what you can get. Why is my name on his name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the brown version of Pez. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, see? Brian, it put says, me next to him. It says El Sol de Rojo. Yo soy Senor Pabs. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, make him bigger to make Pabs bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I, I even got my brown version of tea. Nah, and fuck that. That's a fucking cookie. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. 
Okay, okay. There it is. I shoot people and sometimes cut out their heads. I love it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> well, um, and I even, I even have an accent. It's not the same one as his, but it's good enough. <laughs> oh, bloody, bloody. <laughs> Fuck you, bloody, bloody. Yeah, bloody, bloody. Bloody In bitch. It. It but is. Actually, <laughs> actually, since it's, it's since it's Spanish, I guess I can't have an Indian accent. It's probably need to be like uh, a Chicano accent. Yes. <laughs> oh man! Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Orale. Oh, right. no, eh? About an hour and a half in, we're gonna start getting DMCA flags. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> I was inspired by the ad I saw today for Dark Circles. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh dude, that was not racist. Racist. I don't even know. Mad what racist. I was like, what the fuck is this? A brown guy with dark circles and it says don't be this guy. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Uh, so what's up guys? I missed a Good lot. Day. Chilling me. Yeah, what are you doing, Z? What are you uh, doing, me? <laughs> literally just having some green tea and probably going to crash in a little bit, actually. Awesome. Um, yeah, orale, vato. Orale. Yo, fucking Tim is funny. He was like, oh, I got to get my skill back. Man, them scribes is clean as fuck. <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> they are very, very he clean. Never, he doesn't have to brush up on shit. Hey, speaking of clean, y'all working on your clean builds? Oh shit! Yep. Hey, Julio, this is this is a Lupus Rex. Okay. <laughs> it is though. Uh, yeah, some of it, but that's the beauty of Bar Barbados, right? Like you can't um, focus. Boom. Oh, nice. Damn. Like it's the torso is a rack is a Lupus. Shoulders are Rex, arms are regular Barbato, side skirts are Rex, front is Rex and Lupus, legs are regular Barbato, front of the feet are Rex, back of the feet are, front of the feet are Rex, back of the feet are Lupus, and the back side skirt is regular Barbato. So there's a lot, but it's, but it's, but it's a Barbato. It's a different form. It's not the sixth form, the seventh form, final form. It's the Verzi form. Mm -hmm. you know, the verse form. The verse. Yeah, 6.1. <laughs> <laughs> Give him 1. too much credit. Too much. Oh, and other news. I got my other camera back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to like mount it here so Miguel can finally have that crotch shot he wants so much. Yeah, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Cam. Right? Go. Or like put it like down here so as soon as I come in on the stream, it'll just be like full frontal. You know? Oh, you can't see my face. I made a face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Barbatos is Barbatos. That's exactly right. You guys are in there talking about Barbatos, right? And you're like, Barbatos, Barbatos. And I'm like, Barbatos, Barbafet, Boba Fett, Boba Fett. I want to see a Barbatos, Boba Fett, or a Barba, Barba Fett, or Barbatos. Yeah. Barba hey, Fett. maybe I should paint him in those colors. Or a, or a Bobatos. Yeah, a Bobatos. You know, do some elements, you know, right. do some different elements, like change the backpack a little bit, maybe give it like a, like the rocket or whatever, you know, like Mandalorian style or something, or like fucking tweak the helm a little bit to have like the Mando like vise or like, you know, any of those cool things. That's You're a cool like. something. Yeah, I was going to go like, uh, I was going to go like, I, I can weave what? all sorts of magic in the crew. No, that's a great idea because I have the backpack and like, you know, from the the sixth form like or whatever it has those forearm rockets yeah, yeah i could put those in the backpack and uh that's a that's the fifth form well oh, the fifth form okay yeah i can do that and it's and it, i think i have one of the guns too like the little launchers and uh and i've got enough of the uh little the thing to make uh mm. one of those vestar yeah. staffs and shit 
So I have the, <laughs> I have the monster grade ones right here. They're actually they have, they look more like, like yeah, see. I have a lot of extra parts too, and I'm already gonna send you something for Christmassy that I haven't sent you yet. Um, so I'm gonna Yay. send you. Some, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you. Some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you don't yeah. have to, but that's I a good thing. parts though, so we can do like a live thing. We'll go through my nine bins of parts and see hey. if you want anything. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Send you a care package. No, nah, no, nah, in a pri private stream. Ooh, private dancer. Look at my parts. <laughs> <laughs> what? Those, those are off limits. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What? Uh, you're going to have to hook up that new, uh, that new camera yes. for Z. <laughs> <laughs> they, got all, they got all kinds of jokes. Look at my, my apprentice like, out there. I love it. You're telling me I'm gonna need a 200 millimeter zoom. <laughs> Let's do it, bang! <laughs> no, it's not a Verzi. So this thing really just needs to be painted. I, what Brian's talking about could be done pretty quickly, and I've got till May. Yeah. Pretty efficiently. Yeah. Uh, and then I just need to like maybe dedicate like a week to paint, and I should be good. Yeah, I am here. So, I said, I said <laughs> the, uh, I said the exact same thing to this Barbatos, and then I was like, hmm. I wonder if I should give him the option of fourth and sixth ones. And now it's like three months later. I'm like, oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done that. Do it to yourself right. if you do. That's why it really hurts. Because do it to yourself, just you. And I do have better acts. If you can see maybe a little bit, I have a little bit of a thanks to our friend Shane, uh, Mr. Daft Robo. Oh, all night to get lucky. He hooked me up with this arty station that he didn't want anymore. So I've got some quick access to most of my chisels That's and cutting, you know, stuff and sandpaper and glue. So I can, while I'm doing my day job, I can continue to, you know, tinker, tailor, soldier, spy shit on some gunpla. Oh yeah. You know, while I'm here, so. Very dope, dude. Oh, I thought I generally thought he was gonna make a a, a Verzi joke with him. He's like, you know, while I'm doing my day job, I can just look at this stuff and go, yeah, I'll just do it later. <laughs> I, do, I do do that. If you, if you can, if if I could move this camera, the uh, the astray, all of it is here curing, and and I've not, and the some of it's over there curing. And I have not touched it in a week and a half. And I'm like, okay, I'm almost done. So time to take a little break. Why rush it? <laughs> yeah, why rush it? Yeah. There's no need to rush it. Yeah, I don't think you need to rush you know? it. I give you shit all the time, but you know, you do good work. But I try. I try. Yeah. But, uh, and then these guys, it's because a lot of these things become Verzi because, as you see, I'm surrounded by all these creatives that are wonderful and they keep throwing out ideas. And I'm like, I can do that. <laughs> That's one of my blessings and my curse is that I'm always good at looking at somebody's stuff, be like, oh, hey, you could do this and this, or you could yeah. go that way. Or did you ever think about this? Uh, mm -hmm. I used to do it with this guy, uh, Jake, that I used to work with at the metal shop. He used to make guitars and do other stuff. And then occasionally he'd be building stools or whatever piece of furniture. And he'd be like, yeah, I'm going to do, you know, I was kind of thinking about it. I was going to like weld a thing, do a thing. And I was like, ah, did you think about going this? And you go here and put it on a bias and then cut the smiter and do that. And it adds a step detail. And then you just sand it all smooth and blacken it. And then be like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I just added like 19 hours to your job. Yeah. <laughs> 100 hours into a school. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. almost done. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was gonna be out of here and drink a six pack today and be like, nope, <laughs> not anymore. Exactly. Fuck you, Will. Uh, Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Just Will, our friend, good, good friend, Mr. Bell Rush along. Saying, okay, those looking for hard to find kits, I recommend signing up for your local Gumpel group on Facebook and by the Gumpel Garage Sale worldwide. I think that I am a part of the Gumpel Garage Sale worldwide. Yeah. yeah. I am too. But speaking of hard to find kits, if anybody wants a Gabon Master Grade Perfect Strike, I nope. think Freedom. Strike Freedom. Strike Freedom. Uh, I'm going to be listing out for sale. Is that the, uh, the metal build looking one? Yeah, it's a metal build looking one. It, it, looks, yeah. uh, it looks a lot like, uh, let me switch over. The Dragon Me, me, me. 
Mi... Nem akar. Őre, leg. Diet one. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that hairline. Boom. With the wing effects. Boom, boom, boom. Wow. Yeah, it looks like that. I don't think I have the effects in the box. Um, but that's the DM. That's the Dragon Momoko one, right? Pab? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they, they, I think they're basically identical, other than for the gold colors different, and maybe the build might be a little different, but they look the same. Um, and it's kind of a rare kit. Uh, at least eight side, I haven't seen it for a long time, and even on eBay, the I've seen one in the last few weeks, and it's, it was about two forty-ish with shipping and everything. Yeah. I think uh, I have one of those, but I don't, I don't remember if it's Dragon Momoko or Daban. Yeah, I have the Daban one, Z. I have the Daban uh, one, yeah. Yeah. Pabs has the DM one. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who made the gold frame? Someone made like a uh, metal build model of the gold frame. Was Daban. That Daban? Okay, then yeah. I, have a, I have the Daban. Okay. So both Brown Paul and white paul have the same thing men of taste yeah and we like <laughs> devon strike freedom estrays yeah I have, the, love. I have the gold frame devon astray <laughs> and the red frame devon astray uh let's see uh pro pro thug 2004 says wife is pissed because i put my dessert or desert camel <laughs> justice he says dessert bro look uh, yeah. Desert like, camel like justice dessert. in her in her bearded dragon tank to take uh, pics. I forgot to take them out. Yeah, leave them in there. That's dope. Oh, yeah. Natural weathering. Yeah, there you go. Dragons are all like. <sighs> I don't know why you would put a dessert camo just a, with bearded <laughs> dragons, but you know whatever. <laughs> it's like cheesecake, <laughs> cookies, sunshine of the box and rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Dawson. I should start doing medic versions of my build so it can be called a Ver MD. Get it? Because Michael Dawson. Okay, I'll shut up now. I'll just stop talking. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was gonna do a quick a quick product thing. Um, so I know everybody here knows about like, the God. The God. Not only bigger. Oh, I thought it was everybody knows about the the God hand tweezers, right? Mm, like, really nice tweezers, super straight. Like it doesn't feel like you're ever gonna slip. Um, if you guys yeah. want something close to it, um, I would recommend like the freaking um, the USA Gundam Store starter kit that comes with these tweezers. These things are ridiculously straight. So ridiculously this is the ones. This is the ones that Pabs was originally talking about. These are the God hands. Those are the God hands. Yes. So those 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 are the angle. They're angled tweezers. Um, USA Gundam Store sells a, uh, a starter set right with these and these are fucking great they they look really I, don't nice. came, I don't think that came in mine that's weird i'm gonna have to check mine wherever it is i don't think i've seen it definitely it, it definitely go, comes in in, in in i mean it says it comes on call it effects so, excuse me boss what happened definitely um, definitely give these a try because they're cool like they're, they're nice that. and straight and sharp be careful. The the starter kit comes with like 2.0s, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe 1.5s. Yeah, they could be 1.5s. It's fucking still great. It's yeah, pretty great. great. Look how look how straight that looks. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. They, they definitely look better than my uh, pro hobby ones that are were supposed oh, to be like uh, from Hasegawa, but they look like shit. And, and they work like shit. And then if you guys want a more ergonomic thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a quick like, preview of uh, oops. Oh, the Sims. Sim Pros. So these have like the, the grip and stuff, but they're very similar to the, the startup set. Um, are you telling me to message June and ask to be sponsor? Yeah, uh, pretty much. No, uh, Rushdom's asking the Mr. Startup set. No, not the not the the Mr. Hobby one, the USA Gundam Store one. Wait, are those going to be on the? Are they going to be on the USA site soon? Yeah. Yes, they will. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah, just letting you guys know. If you guys want, like, a, if you guys can't afford, like, the the 
the, the, the God Hand ones, uh, which are amazing. Um, these are actually quite uh, comfortable. Obviously, they're not angled, they're straight. But they're pretty cool. I just realized I have like five pairs of angled tweezers, and I don't know why. Yeah, I've got I've got two pairs. I've got like five tweezers. I don't know what the hell they're for. Yeah, I, like tweezers. <laughs> I, I think I have like sixteen or seventeen pairs of tweezers, guys. I don't feel bad. I don't even know where I got these from, though. Oh, I know where I got mine. These from. Though I will say the most expensive pair of tweezers I got. Sorry, Pabs, I don't know you on hold so. Is uh, those got hand tweezers are the most expensive, but they are nice. So straight. Yes, I got them on recommendation of this guy James. Uh, you may know him by his uh, Nozaku Boy. Nope, he is now. Mm -hmm. I am creative. Formerly known as Nozaku Boy. The Formerly known as Nozaku Boy. It's like I'm, I'm being creative. It's his current name, but he's just is James. He's yeah, James is cool as fuck. Down there. In, in uh, Aussie Australia. That's right. That's right. Where they have this great. If you guys don't watch this amazing fucking anime, you should. It's called Bluey. I love, my son loves Bluey. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Bluey. Oh my yeah. Son loves Bluey. Oh, it's so amazing. I I went and bought the little tiny figures from from Target. The family. Yeah, Mom. he's got the, the place that's like the the car yeah. and the house and the I don't know whatever else. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I love those guys. They're hilarious. It's I did not know. I mean, not that it matters, but like, <laughs> my wife was like, "Blue is a boy or a girl, rather." I was like, "What?" No, uh, <laughs> Bill says, dog. I was like, "What?" <laughs> Bill says, "Pabs, I couldn't afford those, so instead I just rent a midget to grab parts for me." <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, you don't talk Tim, about Tim. That Tim is not cheap. All right. <laughs> I know that for a fact. He's not cheap. <laughs> Grab um, shit. Uh, yeah, I want to get back to that in a second. But yeah, I did not know that either for a while. And then my son's like, no, Bluey is a girl. They're both girls. And I was like, this actually makes it more fun. Because it's like, it's yeah, really it awesome. I, how, care, but I, I just yeah. like, assumed because. Yeah, Bluey. Blue and yellow. <laughs> yeah, like, you're my boy, Bluey. <laughs> yeah. You know? But it's like it's yeah, it's so hilarious that it's just the dad and and the two girls and and they're always just fucking with him, like all the time when they're playing. <laughs> so I love it. Um, but we're gonna let everyone else be the judge here. I'm gonna let this thing focus for a second. Proof that Tim may or may not be five seven. True. Oh shit. Pabs may or may not be taller, and I am definitely not Zegel. <laughs> and that's I am that. definitely told in the same. I am standing behind <laughs> behind him. Don't don't let that fool you. Don't let that shit fool you. Oh, hold on. And let me see. Yeah, just to confirm. No Pabs. heels. <laughs> <laughs> so Pabs, you know, is back there, and Tim is wearing at least let's I'd say about a half an inch of foam, and. <laughs> I'll let you guys decide who is 5'7 oh, and who isn't. His, his ears are tingling right now. He's going to be hitting me up. All I know. <laughs> and the other thing is, I did not get the memo that Pabs and my son decided to match. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that was news to me. But he's also, <laughs> I think he's now taller than all three of us. Oh, yeah. F Dude, this so, guy shot up like a freaking yeah. something that so, shot up. All, all, both of my older kids are now taller than me, which is pretty insane. So, <laughs> Pabs without a hat. <laughs> uh, I've worn, I've, I've not worn a hat both on this stream and mechanisms. If you guys don't pay attention, so now I know. Now I know. Oh, oh. Look at that. got the exhausts on the exhaust cans that I stole off of the tank. The tank. Tank parts, guys. Tank parts are the new. I don't know. The new parts. That sure. On the tank anymore. The new, the new builder They're, parts. Nah. Mm -hmm. They're great. Uh, They're Bill, old. I've been there forever. Uh, I bluey. I, I think he's like a dingo. I think or she. I think their family of dingoes. I don't think they're dogs. I think they're like an Australian animal of some kind. 
It's a dingo. It's yeah. Maybe the dingo ate your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Turns off. That's Cameron takes off the hat. <laughs> like he rushes out of it, like it's hot in here. Finally, <laughs> I was gonna try to pull this one. <laughs> Tim is four seven. Tim is legally a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it's not true. My no. wife's whole family is like five foot tall, and uh, Christmas is awkward. You're- you're a giant, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. I think she has one on that's like four nine. I can just like elbow rest. <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture of me standing next to my sister in law from like a while ago, but you know, I'm like six four and she's like a saw about a foot shorter than me. She's like five, you know, five five or something like that. And she's just standing there like looking up at me. It's hilarious because this the. Uh, so, uh, Brian, what you're trying to tell me is that whenever you and I have a conversation in real life, you go be sitting down, bro. <laughs> I need to be on a bar stool. No, and you're gonna be sitting down, at least <laughs> on your shins. You gotta sit down Asian style, where you crouch down, your butt's almost touching grass, yes. but and your heels are all like flat on the floor. You gotta, you gotta, or you gotta sit on your knees. You gotta. You gotta I fall off my chair. That, Seiza, you gotta Seiza sit for uh I feel that one. I can't I, I don't think I can I don't know that I could do that. Like if I get into that position, if these old bones settle in, I don't think I can get out of it. I wouldn't want to my poor knees at this point. Give me like six months of Tai Chi and a steady supplement diet to help me re- rejuvenate my joints. Yes. You and me both of, like Intermittent skating, uh, sitting at the workbench, drinking rum and gin uh, and ramen isn't as good as a steady diet of exercise and glucosamine. What? Right. <laughs> uh, I agree with you, man. And I need I need that same diet as well. But I was going to tell you, Brian, I'm going to try to test this out and I'll let you know. But I did find this yesterday doing some research on capture card. It's going to focus in a second. And then oh, you there. were talking about that. No, we should. Yeah, so we'll, we talk off, off, uh... This is a different one that I found, mm-hmm. which seems to be an exact knockoff of the uh, Elgato one. And uh-huh. I checked a bunch of reviews and it seems to work absolutely perfect. And just like how the Elgato works, and it's only seventeen dollars. I know the phone won't show it, oh, right but it's seventeen thing. versus a hundred. Send um, me a link. I'll try it. Yeah, we're gonna try this one and see if it works. It is worth it to just I'm try. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna order that one for a second camera. Yeah, that's what I want to get it for too. Because the other one that I got that was like fourteen bucks was definitely like doing something to my USB port and like wrecking the drivers every time I plugged it in. Uh, so I decided to just. Chuck it behind me, and I have no idea where it went. Uh, is it me, or is this dog getting bigger? Yes. Oh. Of course she is. I've been Julio. telling you this, man. Of course she is. What a babe. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I cannot wait to hang out with your dog, man. Yeah, she's I'm, such a, I'm such a fucking dog guy. Holy shit. He's so funny, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn it, Bill. I am not that short. <laughs> We would we would literally we would still be short though if it was like two two feet. Yeah, no, yeah, I, we'd still I be shorter than Brian. Brian is like six eight. <laughs> no, <laughs> Brian is four on a good day. <laughs> so so with two inch heels, would be you Z and I would be like five nine, five ten. Here we go. We would not be. We would not. Yeah. We would not be in the same level. I'm sitting. My knees are ninety degrees. There we go. Let's figure this out. High five. <laughs> I am <laughs> no. I am four eleven. Four eleven. Good so, enough. You're my mother's sitting height. with my sitting with my <laughs> knees like ninety. I have like a like if I I can put my seat way down. So this is like normal desk height, but now my knees are all bent, all weird, high and stuff. We'd be in the same atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> That's good yeah. enough. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Let me see here. Wait. Here. That's as high as my seat goes. This is stool height. Like, 
tall people stool or like normal people stool height, not tall people, but normal. No, I'm, gonna, stool I'm gonna need you to never sit on a stool when you're talking to me. <laughs> Julio so like, fucking I, knows this man. I, I, I don't know I, if Julio noticed during SCGMC, but the whole time, every time I spoke to him, this man was sitting down. Yeah, Impaz is standing. <laughs> like the only reason, like I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable around tall people now, is like I just, I mean, I'm perfectly fine around people that are bigger and taller, except for when it comes to like hugging them. So, like when you see your friend and you give him a hug, and they're super tall, and then your face is like in their like, and they're like right here with your face, George. Yeah, like. Oh, good seeing you, bro. Like, no, we're just gonna we're gonna fist bump. I, was, right? I accommodate. I accommodate. I group down. I group down, and I and I and an outside single arm bro hug. You know, like a good handshake with the pat. Thank you. Know? you. Thank you. Some yeah. people will come in and just like, I'm like, no, it's not that kind of friendship. I know. <laughs> like coming up and just like leg around you and shit. When they oh when their God. elbows are on your shoulders. <laughs> Come here, man. Let me, let me tell you somebody who surprised me with how short they were. Wafting. Just wafting it out there. Yeah. Let me tell What's you who, I, who 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 um who surprised me with how short they actually were. Who's that? Donnie Baxter. Yeah. Right, by DB. He's oh, actually yeah. quite he's not as tall as I thought he would be. It's like it's like uh smoking the bandit. When he when he when he goes to the the, the black cop, he's like I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, anybody remember that scene? I when he was, when he was talking. <laughs> so like, there's a cop, a state trooper who's chasing the bandit, and the sheriff is all like, "The goddamn Germans ain't got nothing to do with this," because the cop is like, "This is not germane to the situation, or your jurisdiction is not germane to this situation." So God. finally, and he catches up to that black cop. He goes because you know he's a pretty racist cop in the movie. And he's just like, "Well, son, I thought you'd be taller." <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" He's trying to say, "I didn't know you were black," because he was talking crazy shit to him the whole time. Yeah, I almost watched that very recently. It was on uh, streaming service. Oh, such a great movie. It's been a minute since I've seen this movie. Bill, if you pick me up and my legs start swinging left and right, I'm going to be very mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very mad. Uh, no, oh, man. the fuck down, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Bill, you get his hands, I'll get his feet, and we'll just start swinging. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get kidnapped. I'm definitely okay with that though, versus just like the face all like just smothered. Um, hey, you swinging me like a fucking doll? <laughs> yeah. What? What? Who's wrestling move? Who's finishing move was that in wrestling where they were like? <laughs> well, I mean, what? So uh, Bob Backlund had something called the chicken wing, where he would he would yeah, like he move you left and right, and he, your arms would sway. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, not a, if you get picked up under the armpits, that's that's like the old mid life. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. I, I think that's what Bill's talking about. He's just gonna ah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean not even not even a hug, like they just grab you under the armpits with <laughs> Oh nice. <laughs> Hello, little one. Yeah. Like a hobbit. I ain't playing this life, Bill. I ain't playing it. No games. <laughs> good night, Michael. Hey, good night, Michael. He's like, who's a good, good Ronan? You're a good Ronan. Who's a good no, Ronan? You know, you could I'm, tall, but I'm, I'm tall, but I'm fairly slender. So that was no way I could. You probably did it too easy. Pick him up under your arms. A little A. Little Andrew. A oh, little A? He's nah, man. He, he, he like a bowling ball. I got a robust. <laughs> medicine ball, not like a bowling ball, like a medicine ball, because a medicine ball is deceptively heavy. <laughs> Fuck about and find out. <laughs> oh, the lay. <laughs> you just think you I'm like, now Steve is just trying to do all kinds of shit now. He's talking about the F5 now. <laughs> One arm under the crotch. Like, you getting suplexed, man. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spin around three times and drop them. F five, F five. Oh, dude, I've been on this crazy just watching old YouTube wrestling videos now. Because that day we were talking about like 
for some reason, why was why were we talking about it? Like, but then we're talking about like the theme music, the, all the entrance music from like the nineties WWF. We were, we were talking was, about the Brood opening music. Yeah, and then like I just went on this tangent of just watching all these old videos of like the rock with stone cold and booker t just all the dumb shit they used to do the funniest moments and shit fucking triple h i'm the okay. game and i'm a play yeah. 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 motorhead yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking great man <laughs> yeah, man you heard that glad shatter and that fucking dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Oh, you knew it was on. You knew it was on. Yeah. Wait, is Triple H dead? No, he didn't. No, no he's like no. the oh, no. like the president of like he runs. Yeah, the, he's like the he's like, like the all the of the CEO. talent and everything. Oh, yeah, okay. he's head of talent relations or something like that. Jonathan was like rest in peace. I was like, wow. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Yeah, Triple H, shot Town. Oh, Devon Eric Iron Claw. <laughs> Um, if you guys want some crazy good like wrestling, like not 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 just the funny moments, but some really good like wrestling storytelling that's in the ring and shit, uh, watch some Eddie Guerrero matches. Eddie Guerrero, oh, yeah, yeah, Eddie Guerrero. Ray Mysterio <laughs> Jr. Yeah, <laughs> Ray Mysterio. Yeah, the only wrestling book I read was The Rocks. Okay. Is it is that the Know Your Role one or whatever it was? I think so. Uh, he did one. Of, did you know he has a fucking TV show now called Young yeah, Rock? Yeah, Young mm -hmm. Rock. He looks funny as shit. It does. It does look funny as shit. It looks funny. Dude, I did not realize. So you remember all the video games like for it? And then there was one where like everyone was destroying everything around and the rock was walking through and he was like, do you smell what the rock is cooking? And the one guy was like, pancakes, rock, pancakes. <laughs> Do you remember that commercial? Like, no. I did not realize that was a direct reference. Like, I just for some reason forgot that the like, Rock would actually say, "Do you like, smell what the smell Rock is rock cooking?" Is cooking. No, not that. Yeah. Like that, he was cooking pancakes. Like he could never cook pancakes as a kid in school, and that's why he would say, "What, what do you smell what the Rock is cooking?" <clears throat> like in, in home ec class, he wanted to make pancakes, and the teacher wouldn't let him. <laughs> <laughs> now he makes pancakes all the time. It's his cheat day meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like high. four stacks of pancakes. He's a big man. Yeah, that guy looks like a silverback gorilla. Yeah, he's, he's a huge man. <laughs> Yo, the fucking big show is massive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he, you see him now? Now he like lost a bunch of weight and he's ripped. He's massive. And he really? He's that ripped and that fucking big, dude. He's huge, man. I met him yeah. once and I shook his hand and his hand like encompassed my whole shit. Yeah, so yo, that man, a, that man is a that man is a very uh, he's a big video game player. Like he plays a lot of video games. Yeah, big show. He uh, definitely uh, wouldn't wouldn't want to give him a hug. That's no, gonna be <laughs> very uncomfortable. <laughs> this kid. Hello. Seems like seems like a nice guy. <laughs> definitely, definitely seems like a nice guy at least. Yeah, no, uh, super nice. He has a TV show too on Netflix. Does he really? Yeah. Bill, I don't, I don't. Unless you're talking, I'm, if it's Ultimate Warrior. Or I'm talking about. Well, I don't know who the Von Erichs are. Unless maybe I do, but I'm just not recalling. Old, old, old wrestling thing. Yeah. I like uh, when it was uh, different federations. Like you had uh, WWF, WCW, ECW. Do you guys ECW, remember that? ECW, yeah. ECW, Sandman. So the first, my favorite like time in wrestling was in that '90s where WWF and WCW were starting to kind of combine. Man. And and they were like doing all like the cross matches like yeah. the, it's called the, it's called the invasion yeah the invasion yeah. dude so it sounds like you came in just after the Monday Night Wars no so I used to watch it I used to watch it so I've been watching WWF since like the Hulk Hogan Ultimate Warrior and Marie days like remember they had that falling out because of Marie. Um, My, yeah, I was back in the Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Johnny Superfly, Texas yeah. Tornado, like early, early that. shit, like early shit. Yeah, but then yeah, I really I got into it, like in that Monday Night movie. Raw, Raw, and you know, like Raw is War. So it was Monday nights and Thursday nights we would watch, and then like so that's when I started coming in, and like when Degeneration X was huge, like we would go out, yeah. like anytime we went anywhere, all the guys were like, 
<laughs> you know, all that shit. Uh, so that's when like the really fun times for me were like with wrestling. Just... When it was the three different ones, man, that shit used to be on every night of the week because mm-hmm. WWF would be like Monday and Thursday, and then WCW was like Sunday and Wednesday, ECW was Fridays. Yeah. Every yeah, day so of the week had something. So now all those guys are at a new wrestling place. Like all the old guys are at that. TNA. TNA, I think. Is that what it is? Oh, it's AEW. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I turned it on like two years ago and I was like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? It out. <laughs> AEW. Yes. He's down. Hype man to the bitter end. I remember watching like the, the Hardy, Hardy Brothers and Hardy Boys Edge and Christian, shoes. like the tables, right, ladders, and chairs else. and crap like that. Oh, yeah. the triple layer hell in the cell. It's, it's coming full circle. Edge and Christian, we're in the brood. Yeah, yeah. we're in the brood. That's right. <laughs> what was the movie um, that they did with like David Arquette? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bring <laughs> the Rumble. What is it? Bring the Ready Rumble. To Rumble? Right. Oh, bring the, the Rumble. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not fake. <laughs> There's a documentary now with uh, – What's that dude's name? Uh, he married Courtney Cox, which is for Paul, uh, David, 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 David Arquette. Arquette. Yeah, yeah, David Arquette. I don't know how fucking old he is now, but he's trying to get like back into wrestling because him getting the, the world championship was like the, the worst thing to happen in wrestling history or some shit. <laughs> it was so he's trying to like get back into it. And they give him, uh, he goes to a psych- uh, therapist and they give him like, 200 cc's of fucking ketamine <laughs> to get him like over his depression or some shit. I kid you not. I'm watching wow. shit. Like, Get the fuck out of here, Officer Doofy. <laughs> yeah, Officer Doofy. <laughs> like that's a lot of ketamine, dude. Why? Uh huh. Why? I saw God. a guy. I saw a guy in a similar amount of ketamine back in the late 90s <laughs> in a club. He put right? his hand through a window. Tijuana. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jonathan. I used to have I we used, I used to have the Ultimate Warrior one and the Hulk Hogan one. The we used to wrestle with those things all the time, man. And uh, I think it was Super Nintendo that you could make your own character. That was like the first game that you could make your own wrestling character in WrestleMania. N sixty four. N sixty four. And it's called No Mercy. No Mercy. That one. What's the Wu Tang yeah. one? What was the Wu Tang one? Oh, that was the um, it was with all the rappers. Yeah, that one was hype. Fuck, what was what was the name? Of it? Yeah. Shit, what? love the what? fucking games. It was Which a one? wrestling game. It was like the the WCW like a wrestling, yeah, street fighting oh, style. Yeah, yeah. Rappers. Uh, Def Jam. Def Jam, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Def yeah. Jam Five for New York. Def Jam. Uh, yep. I can't remember the ones, but there was like uh, I think two or three. Hell yeah. We used to play that shit and armor. Def Jam Vendetta. That's the one. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. We used so many of our own custom characters with the dumbest finishing moves in Andrew's. <laughs> I remember we had like, the skill points. Like you could only do so much. So my guy would be like five, five, <laughs> six pounds. So he could do all the crazy flips and stuff. Exactly. <laughs> we made one guy like. <laughs> man, man. Damn, Steve. Why you had to say that? That's fucked up. What do you say? Oh, this was 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it was. It was. He was like, I wasn't even older. born yet. Or older. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> I still, like, I still uh, get true. shocked. Like, there, there are times I'm just gonna, like, like, sitting around going, yo, that was like last year, or that was like five years ago. Like, nope, that was like 89. <laughs> yeah, dude. I know. That's so why I said I carbon dated myself earlier today because I said weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Like, <laughs> That's a card. That's like a commercial from the seventies yeah. and shit, the early or like, 80s or eighties and shit. Like last night when Carl was talking about skip it. Oh, oh skip it, man! I remember my little like young ass neighbor had one of them shit. She was like a little girl, and she had one of them. Like it would tell you how many yeah. 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 and like, boys and girls. That kid. <laughs> that's the original cancel culture because they banned that shit because after so many people took out their fucking ankles. Oh, straight. It's crazy now, like seeing some of the shit my son. Like, what was he? He was he was playing with a tech deck the other day, and I was like, "Wow, teenager when this was out." He's like, "It's an old toy, Dad." Shut up! Shut up! (laughs) Shut your man! 
<laughs> you just call me a boomer. Shut up. <laughs> I still have a tech deck. I have one too somewhere. I think you, uh, Tom Stanton Wu Tang did have a fighting game back in the day. I think it was the Enter the Wu. I can't like remember the one. It was just a, it was like a, it was, was like a, a cage fighting game. It was a uh, side. It was like it was like a tag. The one I had was the one I played was like tag team cage fighting game, and then me and the boys would do rounds in the in the old house. And after I got out of college, well, got out of college, we'll call it that. Um, and uh, we sit out in the house and like um, you know drink forties and snap pennies at all the artwork, and uh, and then play like video games. And then yeah, we would like tag team in and out, just like whoop each other's ass. It was hilarious and fun. Mm -hmm. Those were the days. They were. They were. Yeah. Wild shit. I learned so much about myself. Yeah. Like Santo says that. Like everything was new. Like everything was new. Now it's just like, hey, let's just bring this back. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm looking forward to this new game coming out. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Sifu. Sifu. I saw that. It's on, uh, Fucking great, dude. on the whole PlayStation thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Dang. Yeah. Sifu looks cool. Dude, I'm looking in, in the video for... it's super freaky. Like I was like, yo. Yo, have you played um Absolver? Yeah. Absolver's fine. I played nothing. But it's it's Steve. Oh yeah, I, you know, I, ash I, on your face. <laughs> it's it's called it's no, called the stink face. Stink face. Damn. Yo, wasn't that rampage? Like if you guys um if you guys haven't so um so WWE does like a documentary series called uh, I can't remember what they're, what they're they're called specifically um but they did one um on Ric Flair and all that stuff but the the last one they did was one on uh, Yokozuna mm -hmm. um you know and you know if people don't know uh, Yokozuna was part of the a wrestling family called the Anoa'i family which is a some uh, Samoan a wrestling dynasty essentially like, like um yeah. the rock is part of it um mm -hmm. uh one of the more recent guys uh, uh what's his name uh, roman reigns and stuff like that like yeah like uh, his cousin isn't he his cousin yeah the, the cousins like um the wild samoans and stuff like that rikishi is one of them stuff like that so it, it, they're part of this one big family and they talked about yokozuna from you know, starting out as as uh a, what's essentially called somebody who loses all the time uh, i think it's, uh a job or something like that Mm -hmm. um and then the, you know he goes from that into uh this uh big you know champion and you know, fighting hulk hogan and wrestlemania and all that stuff it's really interesting like it's it's fascinating to, to see you know this man go from that to that and then all of a sudden going back down to that that level of of you know not not being so popular and then finally his uh his passing it's 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 really fascinating stuff he did the uh the casket matches right with uh, the yeah with the undertaker yeah mm -hmm big big dude and you know his his biggest issue was he couldn't lose weight but he yeah. just kept gaining weight and kept gaining and just it caught up to him yeah. yeah and it's you know the crazy thing is like you with that whole wrestling stuff like you have to come up with that all that like your whole gimmick yeah, yeah everything is you it has to be you like they don't come and say hey this is your character all that like so one of my good buddies is um uh <clears throat> uh what's his name estrada you know armando estrada remember he was like the manager and a wrestler like he was armando alejandro estrada like yeah was, like, I mean, gold cars and shit yeah like he was like the puerto rican guy who in real life is an actual arab so this was like he was like <laughs> uh 2000s like so 2004 2005 and he was like you know, he always he's like dude no it's like you had to sell it. So, like, if you like Undertaker, right? The Undertaker thing was he could never fucking lose in WrestleMania. Like, imagine going to Vince McMahon and going, "Yo, my character will never fucking lose in WrestleMania." <laughs> like, make that happen. Like, how do you sell that? Yeah, some of the like, our, like Stone Cold early character before he was Stone Cold was real strained. The Rock didn't really have. It took him a while to. Yeah, ever, dude. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And then, like, you had, like, you know, and, like, Mankind, Sako, like, he had so many, or he had so many, like, he had three or four different characters. Yeah, dude Love. Yeah. Dude love. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to just hurt my body with one character. Yeah. Five characters. Let me just see him out as just Mick Foley. Was, yeah. Like, what the hell is this? You know? like, and I used to love that when he was with the sock on. <laughs> just 
<laughs> right in their mouth. Psycho. Psycho. Uh, I remember it was the, the sock and rock connection when him and the rock <laughs> were fucking people up. That shit was great, man. That shit was great. Yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, this is all so far outside any of me, any of anything that I know where you guys are now. Yeah. Like what, what I said about what I said about Hulkamania and Johnny Superfly and this and that before. That's the extent of my wrestling. No, I, feel now. You, I feel you. Um, I feel you, Brian. Yeah. Like I used to be a, a huge, huge fan of like uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. Oh yeah. Um, the Hart. Roddy Roddy Piper. Jake the Snake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Macho Jake Man. The yeah. Yeah. Jim Hacksaw did a dog game. Oh, yeah. Hacksaw, fuck you. Yeah. I used to hate it when the, the Iron Sheik showed up. I was like, oh, fuck. What the the Iron Sheik. So so These guys are racist. Like, why? Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> oh, the Nasty Boys. Yeah. Oh, you know, my God. And then what the, the um, animal and what's his name? Like the, you know, who, are the who are the kids I, with the fucking spikes on their shoulders? The yeah, Road Warriors. Doom, the Legion of Doom. Yeah. Legion of Doom, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what is it? Um, how how can we forget freaking uh, what's his name? Um, Rick Rude. Yeah, Rick Rude. Oh, yeah, ravishing Rick Rude. Oh yeah. Rude. yeah. yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, like, and then like you know when he had like the other guy like Big Papa Pomp came in, you know, Razor Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon. Do you see what happened to that guy? He yeah. looks, he's torn off. Well, you know, I mean, he looks better than he did a couple of years ago. He was, he was on the way to death. Better. Yeah, I remember yeah. watching. I don't know if it was a documentary or some kind of show, and he was living on uh, Diamond Dallas a Diamond Dallas Page's couch. <laughs> yeah, crazy. DDP. I think he just recently died. Oh, yeah. DDP died. No, no, DDP's alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. yeah, D- no, DDP died. is doing like some yoga or some shit, right? Yeah, he does diamond down for yoga. It's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> um, Doink the Clown. Holy shit, Doink the Clown. Remember that? Like, yeah, midget's coming with him. <laughs> the, the, the midget's name was Dink. Dude, yeah, dude. Goldust oh. was one of my favorites. Like Goldust and Booker T when they used to fuck with each other. Goldust is still <laughs> wrestling today. His name yeah, is and that was Dustin like, Rhodes. Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes, and his dad was also Dusty Rhodes. Dusty, Dusty Rhodes, yeah. Rhodes. Um, yeah. And, but Goldust was hilarious. Like, imagine selling that character. Yo, I want to be this gay wrestler covered in gold. Okay. The, guy, <laughs> the guy ended his sentences all the time with. <sighs> yeah. Goldust. <laughs> and he would love fucking with Booker T. All the time. I remember this one time when he was just like, you know, when they used to do all those little cutback scenes, and he would just he just went up to like Booker T. And he was like, "Hey, I finally figured it out." He's like, "What fool?" He's like, "I am your father." Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, Booker T was awesome. I mean, there was it was just it was fun. I don't know. I don't like might recognize a lot of people in wrestling nowadays. But I know Rock's cousin is one of the main guys who who was in the last Fast and Furious. I watched it not too long ago. I mean, like- Maybe three years ago, I caught like a raw, and I was just curious, and I was like, "What the?" Fuck? Let me, yeah. let me, let me say this, right? I'm not, and this is there, there's nothing behind this or anything like that. Rock's cousin, like the, because so right now that guy is like the top guy in, in yeah. um, the wrestling thing. Good looking piece of shit. <laughs> he's crazy, man. He, he's yeah, crazy he, good looking. I saw this he, man. I was like, man, that's a good looking dude. Yeah, he's like a better looking <laughs> Jason Momoa. Yeah, yeah he's like a better Jason looking Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. It's yeah, that. it's like, man, this dude's a good-looking motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Stop yeah, hugging it. I need yeah, some of that. Uh, He's uh, some for the rest of us, man. Sam Owen. <laughs> Impressive hairline, <laughs> big shoulders. We got that Samoan chisel. I'm like, bro, come on now. That's not even fair. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's the fucking bulletproof vest? Oh my god, this guy's uh, right <laughs> Oh, hold on. We have a question from Steve for Brian. Okay, oh, shit, this Brian, thing. what did you did ever you- try qualifying for the games back in the '90s when they had downhill skateboarding? Oh no, man, I wasn't yeah. in that. <clears throat> no, I got. I didn't get into um, like downhill stuff, and I I like was more of like a power slider than a speed downhill guy. Like I get weird over like twenty five miles an hour on a skateboard. Yeah, you know, twenty five is pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, and then, uh, you know, I guess the point. And I've seen like you know Michel Urban. I've seen videos of that dude going eighty. You know, and uh, 
I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, like my, I won like some local comps and stuff like that. Mostly I was just into having fun, same kind of thing, just like being innovative and, and, you know, excited about whatever. But I was like more energy than a boy could handle. No, eh, not the same. So <laughs> I can sit down a whole lot more than I can walk up hills endlessly all day and all night. Right. <clears throat> You know, uh, Santo says the Roman Reigns has a look, but man, he has the personality of a chair. <laughs> he has no charisma. That's because we took it from him, man. Right? You had everything else. Give us that. <laughs> Piece of shit. You could be really good looking and famous, but you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, and then Steve says, uh, Pabs, you're married. You won. You don't need to try no more. Hey, listen, motherfucker. I want to look good for my wife, right? Man, damn. Give me the yeah, long hair and the hairline and the shoulders. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll look good too, man. Damn shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> you think life ends as soon as you get married? Uh uh. You gotta keep it. You gotta keep it a spicy. What's up, boy? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you got to keep it a slice. Me, bro, Julio. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch this, Bill. Bill sent his link in the thing. Good Here's looking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Von I hate you. Oh, man. Fucking Josh. So I'm <clears throat> I'm running the cables on the grosser hand right now. Grosser hand. Grosser hand. Oh yeah, on the grosser hand. And the first thing that I want to come out and say is that they include everything you need. Two different millimeter sizes. It's like 0.6 and 0.8 millimeters. And uh, the the tubes that they give you are f like solid tubes. Oh, so wow. it's like a solid little bit of like cable. Um, and that's. <laughs> actually kind of nice it's not like a wire or like anything weird that you're gonna have to like try and cut through bizarrely it's just like a s solid piece of rubber i liked it and uh and it's going well enough it's a little bit complicated but anything good should be complicated julio your dog is too damn cute i'm sorry man she's like <laughs> amy mind i'm bored <laughs> i didn't say it was a bad thing i yeah. said she's too damn cute and i bring that bill Man, oh, wait a minute. What time is it? Oh, we're at two and twenty-six. Yeah. Into this, all right. We're gonna close this yeah. out, guys. Uh, we'll do a round robin. Paul, uh, Tuesday stream. Paul, yeah, yeah, making a cameo. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for having me, guys. It's cool to hang out. Um, cool to work on something that I'm not snap building. So we'll see where this goes. I'm yeah. excited to see what you do. Because when I'm not snap building on Thursdays. <laughs> I'm free. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. That's because uh, Pro Thug 2004 said Creed here. I was just going to say that Creed. <laughs> oh, damn. Yep. There it is. Uh, there it is. When I'm wide open. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks for joining us, Paul. Uh, the <laughs> off the wolf stand. Julio. Hi, guys. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Wet Palette Wednesday. I'm going to try to paint something, but I really want to work on other stuff. Uh, <laughs> I got a bunch of projects. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. Uh, here, we'll go this way first. Hey. Um, hey, listen. Congratulations, Julius, for 21 years of marital bliss. That's amazing. That's awesome, dude. Uh, I'm going to not be painting anything tomorrow. But uh, I will start a Macross March. Yeah. And also, if you guys don't want to look like me in famous commercials, try <laughs> using Cardon. <laughs> uh, kind of looks like a young you. A little it's a bit. Deep, it's a deep fake me. More hair, less star circles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I will catch you guys hopefully next Tuesday or maybe some other time. Beautiful. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Hey, bro. Mr. Chris Pabs. Roman Reigns, that good looking piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. Um, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me, Brian. It's been it's been a fun one. Um, uh, don't forget uh, Wednesday with Julio's Web How Wednesdays. I'll be watching and talking shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, also uh, this Saturday, uh, we're going to be doing another Critical Chill 
um, finishing up the uh, Tekken Man Blade. I don't know if anybody's going to be on with me. If if I mean if, if anybody here wants to join and just hang out and and you know it doesn't have to be anything specific. We can just hang out and stuff like that. Um, that's what we're doing up until uh, Critical Builds Season Two Episode. Five. Thank you. <laughs> five uh, in 25 days, so March 27th, with special guest Tex Marquise. Uh, subject, uh, subject to change. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Um, give those reposts hell. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Excellent. Thank Don't you. be a lamb. Be a lion. Um. Oh, wow. That was so specific. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in. And thank you guys for hanging out with me, everyone that's here in, in, the, in the group with me and everyone also that is active in the chat. Uh, if you know, get that direct. Hey, Brian, I don't mean to interrupt real quick, but Pat, if you look yeah. at the, the, the note, Julius is, wants to jump on on Saturday. That's, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah man, sure. That'd yeah, be great. Right? Yeah, sorry, yeah, Brian. Yeah. No, no, no. You're, that's that's a wonderful thing to interrupt me with. Thank you for interrupting me. All right, I'm into it. Um, no, but um, yeah, so thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, doing this thing just about done. Super excited about the stuff that's going on here with everybody and then coming in the future. This is really cool. Um, I will be not painting, but probably in the chat tomorrow night. And um, who knows what's going on exactly Thursday. Thursday stream tentative. I might be busy. I might not. I don't know. But if I am, then I will let you guys know. And if not, then uh, I will be streaming with Paul. Yeah. All right. So I'm done. I'm done being me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I removed myself from the stream. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a good night. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Uh, and Jonathan, 